still have to do. So here we go, I guess. So welcome all to the one pot challenge. Today, I'm gonna to be cooking a variety of international foods inside one pot, which I bought two days ago. The theme of this is gonna be air, all the ingredients go in this pot, which is actually pretty heavy. It's stainless steel, which apparently is better than aluminum. It is a two quart pot. And I'm gonna be making this many ideas. I guess I can take this sign away. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm, what I'm gonna be making, but these are the first letter of all of the objects being made. So feel free to guess for yourself or type it in chat and we'll see as we go on. This first item here takes a couple hours to cool down. So the idea is I will prep this, put it in the fridge, and then make all of these objects. And then at the end of the stream, hopefully it'll have taken two hours and I'll come back and we can pull this out and finish it up. Any thoughts on that? So as you can see, I've never opened this. And this is gonna be a fresh new pot. That didn't work. I have a scissor somewhere. What if I like do this? I mean, that's some thick plastic. Yeah, see it's plastic under the cardboard. So it's very interesting. But there we go. Flan, it is not flan. I don't even know how to make flan. Okay, but there we go. Oh, it has a lid. I didn't know it had a lid. That's nice. Okay, I'm going pretty slow. I gotta, I gotta speed up. So every time you get a pan, you gotta wash it out, right? Because who knows what happened to it. I don't have a trash in the kitchen. So, come to the sink, which I don't know if you can see. Okay, well, that idea wasn't the smartest. The sink. And boom. Get some water in there. This dish soap is like five years old. And it kind of glops, but you do some of that in there. Swish it around. And I think that is pretty good to go. Because the heat should cook out anything that's bad anyway, right? That's what I'm going with. So there we go. My disposal works, so I don't have to be worried about that. And then if we bring all of this back to how it was, hopefully it's fine. The first object that I am going to cook is actually... German white chocolate fudge. How do you think about that? The ingredients here are... Um, try hundred zesty... Uh, Weisse Chocolat, which is 360 grams of white chocolate. Oh my goodness, I bought the wrong thing. How? It was in the what? I bought the wrong chocolate. I don't know how I got the, I got milk chocolate. What is that? It was in the stack of white chocolate. Okay, well, we're, we're making milk chocolate fudge, which, yeah, what's, what's even the point, but okay. Um, but this has 360 grams, uh, uh, try under zesty gram weisse chocolate. Um, so this is, uh, 326 grams. So it works out just fine. I'm following an actual German recipe from the internet that, uh, this guy named Lamas has made and says is good. So I'm going to keep making it. Even if I got the wrong ingredient on the first thing. Uh, fantastic. There's also Ein Andred Zesty Gram Kondensmisch, which is um, 160 grams of condensed milk. I've never used this before, but it's in the recipe, so I'm going to try it out. Um, and then the third ingredient is Ot Gram Matcha Pulver, which is 8 grams of matcha powder. And I, had no, I, I don't make tea or anything. 
This stuff is actually really expensive. So shout outs to me, I spent the money. This whole thing, it cost me $100 for everything I'm gonna make today. So keep that in mind. We're gonna go item by item. So we're gonna talk if something I bought was too expensive or actually really cheap. We're gonna get there, that's also part of the stream. Um, I don't know, I just feel like it's already over. It's supposed to be white chocolate and now it's just chocolate. I, I don't know, I already messed up. Um, but okay, the way to cook this is to actually melt the, uh, the chocolate. I need to use something under it or around it to create um, a nice aerated heat source so that it's not just at the bottom of the pan because the chocolate at the top won't melt the same rate as the chocolate on the sides. So what I have to do is, I could, either, I could cover this in uh, like cardboard if I wanted to to make it work out really well or I'm gonna put it in the sauna. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pan over here and I'm gonna heat it up with water. This is something you learn in like the first year of culinary school. So I understand there's a lot of people that don't really know how to cook, but um, that's okay, it's not a problem here. I'm gonna be teaching as I'm going through it all. So I'm gonna take uh, this pan right here and it actually got filled up with warm water, which is good because it'll boil faster, right? And then I'm going to turn on the double burner stove all the way, all the way to high. And we're going to talk as this starts boiling. Go over, oh, I put the lid over here. There we go. So this is going to start burning. Now we'll go over the ingredients coming into it. So this a uh, bag of chocolate was $4. And what I'm confused is that I could get two dozen chocolate chip cookies for $3.99. But I could also buy this chocolate for $3.99. So how does that make sense to me? Because the cookies have this much chocolate in it, yet you also get dough from the cookie. So why isn't this cheaper? The cookie should be super cheap. Now, I think the reality is that there's some uh, the cookies are a store brand, even though they're one of the best, and people come to the state just for the cookies. So they're probably super mass-produced that the price gets pushed down. I'm not really sure. But $4 for this, it seemed okay until I compared it to other items. Oh my goodness, I turned on the wrong burner. Okay, it's, uh, yeah, this is going great. Okay, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, it's not really, it's not going so hot today, it seems. So, sorry for the scuff stream. I tried to prepare a lot, a lot. And it seems that I didn't do enough. Um, so I can't see. This is what you're here for? Okay, well, I just melted my radio. So if you want to see that, I just melted this plastic on my stove, which I'm pretty sure is going to stay on the stove, because uh, once a plastic belt, uh, a plastic bag melted on my stove, and it'll stay there forever until you actually just burn it off again. So that's cool. That's super nice. Uh, but hello, welcome. Um, I'm not making what I thought I was making because apparently I got milk chocolate chips instead of white chocolate. And what? There must be something on the stove on this burner because it's making a little sizzle, which is normally fine for like a second, right? But I mean, now it's stopped. I don't know. Uh, things are happening. So I'm gonna, oh, so this is $4. Is this a fair rate on this bag of chocolate chips? This, um, the sweetened or unsweetened, I got, I got, I didn't get unsweetened, but, oh, it is sweetened, Never mind. So I got sweetened condensed milk and that was, one moment. This was $3.50. Isn't a whole gallon of milk $3.50? Is this like a whole gallon right here in a, in a can? I don't understand it. It's from Brazil. Maybe the import is really high? I don't know. And then this box of matcha powder, which is a box inside of the box, 
This was uh, 1349. This tiny little box is way more expensive than this can of milk that's, that has no, no liquid. So I don't get it. Uh, but either way, I'm going to take this off. I assume the top just pops off. I, I don't know how to open this. Oh, okay. So there is a hole on the top where you take out... What is this? What is this? Yeah, why does this box exist? I don't understand. I guess because they can't just sell this crappy bag. How am I supposed to use part of it and not and save the rest? How do you store this? Are you supposed to use the whole thing at once? How am I supposed to weigh out eight gram? It's in a bag that you pour into the box. Why? What if the box isn't clean? I literally see like a dirt mark on the inside of it. I don't know if you could see it, but there is a dirt mark on the rim. And there's like, maybe that's a bug. What the? Look at the bottom. Do you see that? Do you see that line? There's like a bug in there or something. There's something in there. I don't know what I bought, but I'm, this thing costs a lot of money. So that's cool. Uh, okay. But this is getting close to boiling, so I've stalled for long enough. Shout outs to me. I guess I can fill this in. So the first item we are making and remember not to tell everybody else what the other letters are because nobody else knows except for you. Uh, Bob helped me uh, create the itinerary for tonight's stuff. So I don't even know if you can read it, but it says fudge. Okay, I don't know. This stream, it's already like too scuffed. I've already done like three things wrong. I haven't even started. Okay. Um, okay, so now this is starting to boil and I'm gonna put this down to medium temperature. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my new very sparkly pot and about what you expect, okay. Fantastic. Dude, I had such good visions of this. I really did. Um, oh, I totally forgot. I was so angry. I forgot. I wanted to crush up the chips. They're probably not going to melt correctly. But at this point, like, who even cares? I was going to I was gonna crush them. So I'm going to take the entire bag of chocolate chips and put it into the pan. Okay, so I have a whole pan of milk chocolate chips. That's exactly what we wanted. And now, dude, it is boiling really hot. But now you give it a good shake. You take the lid off, remember, always away from you. You never open lids towards you or it will come at you. And now I'm gonna put this inside this. And it's a nice sauna. I have created a sauna environment for the chocolate and it's going to start melting. And I guess we're going mobile here. Look at the char, the, the chocolate. The, uh, how do I say it? Have a nice gander at the, one moment. At the Tri Andred Zesty Weisse Chocolate. Dude, I even practiced that. It was so good. So now everything is going to go great. 
So we're zooming and the chocolate is about to start to melt. You can already feel it. It's going to happen. How do you feel about this sauna tech? I'm going to raise the heat. Every chocolate takes a different amount of time. Like cooking chocolate's different than just chocolate chocolate. Um, so if you put a Hershey Kiss in, it's going to take quite a while compared to these smaller little bite-sized kisses. And then you could just get blocks of cooking chocolate, but um, yeah, that was like three times the price. So I was not going to do that. If that's okay. But okay, we got the chocolate going. And the idea here is I will take 100 zesty gram of condensed milk, which is half of this, because this is three, this is about 400, but I need 160. So I'm gonna throw about half of this into the pot when it's melted and nicely loosened. But what we're really looking for here um, is we're looking for it to become a nice Florentine before I throw in the condensed mesh. That's what we're looking for. So that's just gonna sit there apparently for quite a while. In my head, this was gonna go so much faster. What happened? Like it's not, it's not even close to melted yet. It's just sitting there. This is why I wanted to crush it. Cause right, surface area is a big thing for melting. If you crush them, it's like eight times faster rate of melting probably. So as we're waiting for the chocolate to melt, we're going to set up the zesting process here. So right, we have our matcha powder. Um, dude, what is that line? I can't put it in this. I, I can't do it. Uh, I'm gonna, no. uh, what do I put powder in? I don't have like a, I don't have a super small. Okay, here we go. So I have these little things that I've never used before, but it's this tiny little Tupperware, so that looks like it could store the powder. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take it out of the bag. Take it out of the bag. Why doesn't it just open? Why, why is this so hard? I don't know, I'm like so tilted already. Oh! I don't get it. Scissors, where are the scissors? I gotta get the scissors. Okay, getting some scissors. And you want to cut it into the bowl so that when the powder falls out. Oh, my, dude, it just went everywhere. What is going on? I, I did it correctly. I mean, realistically, you're supposed to cut it facing down so it doesn't fly everywhere. But I forgot it stuff, okay? My bad. It just, it just, it's all over the place now. 
My super expensive, not weed, is just all over the kitchen. But here we go. This is a, this is a lot of matcha powder. Now I have no idea how much eight is, but I'm gonna divide it by the total in the bag. And I'm gonna figure out what percent I need of this. It's very strong. I mean, it tastes, it, yeah, I mean, it's green tea. So at the end of the day, it tastes like that, but just in the powder form, it's very strong currently. So here we go. This was allegedly 42 grams. So I need about one fifth, right? See that, that fast math there? I need about one fifth of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, check this out, what, what else I bought. I bought little tins to put the fudge in. So they're pretty small, right? They're like, that's my thumb. So they're not that big. So I'm gonna take this plastic thing off that has a bunch of suction cups that is putting suction into the actual cups. Very nice. And uh, we're gonna give this the same cleaning process we gave the other. Which is get some water in there. And then, you know, you take your little soapy soap and I put like just a little bit in each one. And then you just let it go. You just let it happen. Oh my goodness, it's getting in the powder. Okay, some of the powder is wet, but hopefully that's okay. So there we go. Cleaned it off. Okay, and this is a non-stick pan, so nothing matters anyway. So here's the idea that I had. So you're supposed to coat the balls in the matcha powder, but what if I did the reverse and I coated this in matcha and then put the balls in it. Pretty smart, huh? I think that's smart. In case you're wondering, the chocolate still is just not doing anything. It's just, uh, it's just a little bit shinier. So at some point, hopefully it'll melt. But here we go, I'm gonna move all this trash. And the idea here, oh, I have a lid. I don't know if that's good to do, but I'm gonna do it. It sounds smart. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try first without any sort of uh, uh, butter or anything. I'm gonna try just putting my finger into the matcha powder and then see if it will coat this. And look, it does. So this is how I'm gonna line it. I'm gonna take this powder, and I'm not gonna measure out whatever eight grams is, you know, what even does that mean? And I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna put it in the tin. So right, now the tin is matcha. Pretty smart. The only problem I have is I don't know how much chocolate I actually have. So I don't know how many of these cups it's gonna fill. So I'm just gonna set up six, but I don't know how much chocolate, you know, is in its uh, liquid form. So I'm just, my hand is covering it. Imagine if I had like an actual camera or like a cameraman instead of just me. I don't know, just putting my finger in holes. Okay, uh-huh. It's really strong, but it, it, does, it does smell good, so it's fine. Uh-huh, uh-huh.
And I can always, uh, you know, like cover them after the fact too, after they're in the fridge, I can come and uh, just coat them afterwards. Okay. But there we go. I got six green holes. It's like a Shrek movie. Okay. Don't drop the bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I saw he was sliding. It almost got water all up in it, so. That didn't happen, at least. The chocolate is still doing nothing. Does anybody know? <laughs> what is wrong? This was supposed to, like, I thought this was going to take, like, 10 minutes to be, like, to go through the whole fudge segment. Uh, why isn't the... There we go. It's still just there. Maybe I had to mix it up. I didn't want to get chocolate on the ladle or on the, uh, the other thing I bought. Look at this. I also bought a spatula. Check this out. I've never had one of these before. It's rubber and it's bendable. Look at that. It may look not melted, but if you mix it, okay. So then I'm gonna take the lid off. Remember, always away. And you're saying if I touch it. Oh, it is, kind of. It's kind of like super stick. Does this count as melted though? I was thinking it'd be a lot looser. But maybe it's not supposed to be. See, I don't know how the Germans define uh, kind of like what is melted and what isn't. sure it really can get more melted than that so I think I'm gonna go take this now and maybe this is premature but you know what it's, it's already it's already ruined anyway so what's the point so I'm gonna open this up I've never used this before I'm expecting it to look like flour that's my guess it might be yellow though so wait it's a liquid What's up with that? I thought it was dehydrated. Does condense not mean, oh wait, is it the opposite? They took, I don't understand. I, I, I thought this was gonna be like powder. I don't know. I thought condensed milk was you take the water out so it becomes powder. But what is this? Oh, I can't even open it. it did... when, I, when I move this, it wants to explode everywhere. So I'm gonna do it over the Cinco. What is this? Is this tapioca? What is that? Okay, but I'm gonna use half of it, let's go. Woo! I don't have a napkin. Who's got a napkin? I have a whole bag of them, or I have multiple bags, but they're not open. These bags are, are, these napkins are the best. You know, if only they could sponsor the stream. This Vanity Fair, these napkins are, they're just so crazy. I'm trying not to actually pull them out, but I just want one. These are like the best napkins to ever exist. I don't know if you guys know or don't know, but it's the truth. Like, it's so thick and it just gets it all off. It's clean. I don't know what to say. It's really good. But I put half of it in there, so I think we're good to go. And now I mix it up to make a bechamel, and from there I prosper. 
condense, not powder. But if you condense milk, wouldn't you, wouldn't the obvious thing be to um, just take the liquid out? Dude, I don't know. I, I'm not used to having a mirrored uh, camera. You know what? I got an easier way. This is the way I was originally going to do it. I don't know why I forgot about it. Oh, I can't take this out of the thing. Well. I don't know if you can see this, but hopefully you can. But yeah, so at, at the at the the supermarket there was sweetened and unsweetened condensed milk. And I thought I got normal, which would be unsweetened, but apparently I got the sweetened version. I don't know if that was correct or not. I feel like this doesn't need more sweet because it's chocolate, but I bought the wrong thing. So that's like strike number seven already on the stream. But here we go. Taking a risk here with hot water. Um, you can see uh, most of the liquid is now kind of forming into the chocolate. So... It's kind of condensing the melted chocolate, if that makes sense. So now like there's, there's not much liquid left in the pot. Is condensed milk edible or no? I assume it is, but I don't know what it is. Is it just milk or is there anything else in it? It says milk, sugar, lactose. And I think that's fine. So I just want this to cook a little bit uh, together more. I think it's good where it is, but um, I want to make sure it's it's like one unit. Um, it still looks a bit lumpy because of the the chips haven't fully melted. I really wanted to smash them, but I forgot. It almost it looks like. Um, when you make a cake and then you make the fudge layer, it looks like that. Except I'm actually making it instead of just a powder with water or a powder with milk and egg or I don't, I don't think you put egg in that cause you don't cook that. So how are we doing so far? This looks good, yeah? I think the, the, the stream quality is low and I don't know why. It looks, uh, it looks fuzzy, I don't know why. I don't think it's like the camera because on my side it doesn't look blurry, but it looks blurry when I looked at the stream before two o'clock. It looks good, okay, thank you. Are you out on the go right now or are you uh, stabilized? I'm gonna take this out and... No, wait, you can't use silverware on pottery. So how do I, how do you get it out? I guess I'll use this, but it's bigger than the hole. So like, I don't know, this setup is so scuffed, I can't see if you can see the tray. You can, but like super little. Does that work? Okay, I think it's gonna fall though. It is like 100% gonna fall. Okay, but I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna see what happens. Um, I 
Uh, there's no way it goes in the holes. I thought like, I I was debating between these small things or like muffin pins or muffin pans, but I I went with this. I don't know how to. It's gonna get not in the hole. Um, I have an idea. I have an idea. So I have, it's crazy, I understand. But I have this whole, uh, this whole, uh, cabinet full of plastic silverware that I've just never used. So I have like a billion full sets, just spoon, just fork, just knives. So we're gonna use this fancy one. This is a fancy stream here. We got a lot going on. Like, I have a spoon, but it's a metal spoon. So, I have this spoon, which I'm going to be using. I hope these don't, like, expire at some point. Does plastic go bad? Do you have... Oh, yeah. Oh, see, it's falling. I just hate... I can't see the, the, the last message typed. I have to move my... Oh. I have to move my setup to see the last message. It's so cringe. Oh, dude, what happened to packaging? When did packaging get really hard? Okay. So here we go. Look at this spoon. It's a Star Wars spoon. Check that shit out. I have no idea when I got this. It's non-dishwasher safe. This is from some old, some old cereal. I don't know. Anybody know the last time they had spoons? So I'm gonna take this. This is working out pretty well. Uh, yeah. Hey, it's working. Oh, I'm gonna need a lot of holes. So this is fudge, huh? I just made fudge. It's just chocolate. Wait, wait. I don't really get it though. It's chocolate that's even sweeter? Is that what fudge is? Or it's chocolate with a different form? I don't have enough holes. Oh, wait, shit. Dude, I didn't pad that hole. No. I didn't pad that hole. It's really warm. No, plastic lasts forever. That's why it's in the ocean. I guess that makes sense. I don't know. I don't know how something becomes fudge. Because I just... Like, that's the thing I don't understand about chocolate. Chocolate just... um. You melt chocolate and you reform it into a billion different chocolate items. And I don't get how you decide if something is a new item or it's just chocolate reformed. Look at my hands, dude. What? Like, this isn't natural. This isn't normal. Okay, this doesn't exist as something people touch. I'm putting a lot on these last six. Look at this, man. Wait, do, do I, oh, this is really bad. Aren't I gonna absorb all of that caffeine through my skin? That's not good. I almost just burned my hand because I touched the, the pot. But I did it for like so short that it didn't matter.
Wait, can I? I can put the pot down here. I think. I think that's fine because it's a linoleum. Is that what the word is? I don't know, but I think I can put hot things down on this. I think that's fine. Why does it have to go in the fridge? It seems like it's already, like, solid. It's already fudge, it feels like. Like, look, it's, it's already... If you just put it in, like, a mold, it's fudge. Just remember, this is only the first thing. <laughs> there's there, there's a few other things to be cooked. But I thought this was the easiest. So we might be in for a terror. It's kind of ball shaped, right? It's so hot. Like, the pan is hot. So how are you guys' days going? It's Saturday. Bob and I were playing uh, board games last night. A random bystander was super, super caught off guard that we were playing board games. And he was like, this is my jam. And I kind of didn't say any words because I didn't want to scare him away. I didn't really know what to say to him. He seemed too happy. And if I said a word, it would have made him sad. Because I would have just said something to troll him. Like, wait, this is a board game? Or, or something like that. So I just didn't want to say anything. I think it would have been hilarious, though. I think you guys might have laughed. But then he would have been like, wait, why are they laughing? But then maybe it, it just isn't even a funny joke at all. So I don't know. I just refrained. Because I feel like you have to explain to too many people that that's how I speak. And, you know, he hasn't even been to board games to see any of me. So he wouldn't even, he would just be so confused. He'd be like, maybe I shouldn't play with these weird ass fucking people if they're like him. So I just said nothing. Maybe texture is a good thing. By the way, this is like almost the perfect amount. Because uh, it looks like I can make a ball shape because they can raise into pyramids. So this was like a perfect amount. Shout outs to me, really. See, like, oh, this one's already like, it's already solidified. I can't add anything to it. I, I think it's it's good. Okay, so I got some left, but the idea here is that now I add the matcha on top of it again. So I get matcha on the sides and bottom, and then I get it on top. Seemed pretty good, yeah? I really don't know how much is too much. Like, what if it just tastes like tea? And the chocolate is just, like, so 
like so overpowered by the tea. That would be kind of sad. And I feel like I've used more than a fifth of the powder. I'm not really sure, but I feel like I've used more than a fifth. But a lot of that could be like on the ground over here or just on the, the pan everywhere. Look at that! Not bad. Well, oh wait, was now bad? Was I supposed to put it on top after the fridge? I mean, that's what the instructions said, but I didn't really get it. It was very odd. They said only use a third of the matcha. So it's like, wait, what do you mean? Why would I, why would I bring something here and then only use a third of it? But this is going into the fridge uh, for two hours. So right now, uh, remember this, it's 6.05. So in two hours, at 8.05, I have to pull these out of the fridge. Okay, so that's the first dish. Um, I guess I just eat the rest. So this is what it looks like in the pan. It, like, it already looks like fudge. It's got the sheen, the, 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 the coat to it, you know? It's already fudge. I don't know why you have to freeze it. Or no, like, put it in the fridge. Tastes pretty good. So see, there was only this much left. So it was actually a good amount. I have to clean it because um, I'm cooking the next thing immediately in this. So I might as well eat the chocolate instead of just wasting it. I don't understand. Why does fudge cost so much? Right? When I was a kid, we used to go to a place and they had a place that had fudge in its name. And the fudge was like stupid expensive. I know like they mix flavors and things like, like Rocky Road, right? You had to have put like marshmallow and, and nuts in it. But if you just get chocolate fudge, why is it so expensive? And I know the reason is, the reason chocolate fudge has to be expensive is because then you'll ask, why is it so much cheaper than the other fudges? And then you'll just get chocolate. So they have to make them in the middle at the high rate. So I get it. But, then I get like, they have to pay for the machines, you know? So like, the machines are running regardless of what they're making. So they just average high rate. But I don't like it. Shouldn't it be that expensive to just get chocolate? Like, why was this bag of chocolate chips $4? If the cookies are $4. I was telling them before how people come to our state just for the cookies. Because Publix cookies are known. Like, if, if anybody ever flies down and they get Publix cookies, it seems like they kind of expect the next time they visit. Just something I've noticed. Okay, but I feel like I learned a lot today. 
I already learned how to make fudge. But remember, this is the F. We still got J, R, P, O, and M, and C. And this took an hour and, well, I started the stream 30. It just took 40 minutes. Oh, my goodness. I got to get moving. Like, I'll be here till tomorrow. Okay. So, I'm going to take the masha. I have, like, no space because there's just so much shit everywhere. Like, my trash is sitting in the second sink. Oh, wait, I can't put... Okay, I gotta, I gotta put a dry lid on the matcha. Okay. And it's a matcha poother. Matcha poother, if you say it in the... <clears throat> so, yeah, if you're wondering about that recipe, it was... I have it right here. 300... Uh, it was try under zesty gram weiss chocolate. Uh, ein under zesty gram condensed mish. And at gram matcha puver. So there you go. That's the ingredients. Well, actually, this doesn't go in the fridge, does it? Where does this go? Does it just sit out? Like right here? I think that's what happens. Oh my, I got my receipts. What? Oh no. My receipts are wet. Oh no. There's just shit everywhere now. Ugh. So now we're done with this pan. This pan, I'm gonna pour out the water. It's still hot, it's still steaming. But since it was just water, I don't really need to clean it. So that's nice. Shout outs to the pan. Um. Next on the list, we got a J. What does the J stand for? Well, I'll tell you right now. It stands for wet, wet pen. The J, a fan favorite to go in a tiny pot like this. The J stands for Jello. We're making some gelatin. Which, from what I understand, is somehow, like, not vegetarian. I don't really get it. But we're making some jello in the pan. I've never made it myself before, so I'm going to see how it goes. And to get us started with the jello, we have... I was told to get this by Bob. The berry blue flavor. Okay? Check this out. Because this is a color theme going on. That was supposed to be white chocolate, and now we have a blue item coming into the field. So we got a black item, you know, just, it went from white to black. Now we got a blue item coming through. I'm gonna look at the instructions. One cup of boiling water, one cup of cold water, and add boiling water to gelatin mix, stir two minutes. Complete until dissolved. Stir in cold water. Refrigerate four hours or until firm. Mix four one-half cup servings. Speed set method. I'm a speed runner. Dissolve gelatin mix in three-fourths of boiling water. Add ice. Uh, uh, ice. I don't know about that one. Okay, but I'm going to do it the normal way. Which is add boiling water to the gelatin mix. Why not add the gelatin mix to boiling water? Am I crazy? Has, has anybody ever read these instructions? Why would you do it that way? I'm, I'm doing it my way. So I'm boiling water once again. Here we go. But this time, I'm not going to give it the sauna treatment. I'm going to just boil it in the pot. Actually, I don't know how much water. It says one cup. So I have to boil one cup. I wonder if it's one cup pre-boil or one cup post-boil. So I'm going to add in a little bit of extra water. I have right here, you know, a handy dandy cup thing, which has, uh, it doesn't have a label, but this one's one cup. It's one cup is actually very big, in case you didn't know. And what you're supposed to do, obviously, is you put the pan in the sink as you're getting the water, so any excess um falls into the pot but i'm actually really good at this skill 
so I don't drip any water anymore. So yeah. So now I'm gonna heat this up, and it does have some chocolate in there still, but that's gonna make some chocolate pudding, or chocolate jello, which is good. So this time I'm gonna do the right burner, and we're gonna start boiling on the double burner, and boom. You see, I have an elect, oh, what do I do with this? What happens to this? Does it go in the fridge now? It's milk, so it has to go in the fridge. But why was it not already in the fridge? I bought it, it was on the aisle, not the fridge. I feel like it has to go... Refrigerate after opening. Refrigerar después de abrir. Caution, never heat in the can. Advertencia, nunca caliente en la lata. Okay, so it goes in the fridge. Okay, it's going in the fridge. How? Do I just put this in it, or I have to? I have to have like a an enclosed environment, right? I can't just put the can in the fridge. That's bad. So the nice thing about small pots, I haven't really talked about it much, but the nice thing about having a small pot is when you're trying to boil water, it doesn't take very long. That's what's so good. Because a lot of times when you're trying to cook food, you need a certain amount of height of water. And the bigger the pot, the wider you have to go, so there's so much more water, and there's less percentage surface area. So it sucks. But when you have such a small pot, you're, you're, you have so much extra surface area because your sides are more in. And it works out really well. It's one of the advantages of having a small pot. Okay, so see, like, it's already boiling. Isn't that crazy? I've never had a pot boil that fast. Like, that is so wild to me. Look at that. Look at the bubbling. Okay, well, you can't see it, but that's my fault. But I could show you like this. The bubbles. Okay, so now I put... I'm supposed to put the hot water on the gelatin, but I'm gonna put the gelatin in the hot water. This may be a mistake, but you know, it is what it is. But it says, uh, add, you stir for two minutes. Anybody got a timer? My phone's being used currently. Actually, I should really plug it in, huh? Okay, you're plugged in. So it looks like there's a bag inside the box. It's so hot. Oh, maybe that's why you don't do this. It's so hot that like, I, I can't dump it in because it's so hot. But I only have one pot to use, so I have to do it like this. Well, I guess I could do this. Check this out. So I have another one of these tiny little guys. And I'm gonna dump this in that. And then I'm gonna dump this into the pot because it's so much easier. Ah, uh, using my brain, yeah. Now, yes, you should never stick plastic over a very warm pot or pan because it will technically melt the plastic, but nobody's watching. So look, I got this and it smells very blue, berry. And then I do this. Bro, so smart. Clap it up for me. And now I take the fudge uh, thing and I just mix it. And I'm mixing. Oh wait, I'm supposed to probably turn this off. So I'm gonna take this off the burner in general, even though I don't need to. 
Damn, dude. The, when I tilt this, it means you can't see the liquid. Or I assume you can't see the liquid. But it's very blue. Like you, can, you can see such a little bit, but... It's so blue. Okay, so it's 618 right now. See, imagine if I had like a real camera set up, man. I'm stirring, it's 619, it's already been a minute. Okay, um, I'm gonna put it on the second burner because that one's cool. Because after I melted my radio, it, it, it's, it's cooled down since. Because I gotta read the instructions. I think it says to put the cold water in after two minutes. Until completely dissolved, then stir in the cold water. I don't know how to tell. How do you know when something dissolves? How are you supposed to know? I mean, it dissolved instantly, right? It's just powder and water. It's going to dissolve. There's a couple floating objects. Oh, wait, that's the chocolate. I forgot. I was like, what? Did like four bugs fly into the jello? But no, it's probably the chocolate that's been sitting there. And it melted on the side of the pot. I kind of forgot about that. So yeah, I'm getting like a slight tint of chocolate going to be in this. Now there's like 20 particles of chocolate in there. Okay, well, it's 620 according to the stove. So I'm going to get some water now. I'm going to take the plastic thing out because I don't want this to melt in it. So I'm going to get another cup of water. And I really should have filtered this cold water because this water isn't going to get treated by boiling it. So I really should have filtered this first. So minus one for me. And obviously you never want to pour anything from a high height into something else because it'll splash out. But again, I'm a professional. So you got to understand where I'm coming from with this. I've made jello tens of thousands of times. Well, if I have to use the timer, then I have to learn how to use it. Look how blue it is. Even with another cup of water, it's so blue. It's like my shirt. Or guess what? My pants. Because I'm always wearing blue. People don't understand. I am the blue guy. You know what else is blue? When I went outside today, I was real proud of myself. My shoes. I actually look so good right now. I'm telling you. Like, I'll show you the side profile. At least, I don't even know if you can actually see it, but. Like, I'm looking. Th these colors are matching real hard right now. Okay, so now the jello's done. Now what do I do with it? Because it's too hot. So you're supposed to pour this, uh, it says, and keep it in the fridge for two hours. But I don't want to wait for it to solidify. So I think I need something glass. Where can I get something glass? I know I have this, but I, I have this. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but a potato thing. I have this, but I don't want to put it in this. Um, cause everything else won't work, right? I can't put it in plastic, it'll melt. And you can't put it in like ceramic cause it'll shatter or something, right? Bet you looked hot as fuck, babe. Yo, I did. I, like when I was going through the superstore, people were looking at me and they were like, I saw some faces. Yo, what happened? The condensation is, is, is taking off the letters. What the hell? Yeah, so long as, I don't know if you saw, but, um, 
Apparently I bought the wrong chocolate, even though I looked at it and I saw it was white, somehow it, it turned black. So these are what I made and they're in the fridge. Shout out to me. Uh, Bob, what time did I put them in the fridge and why, why is my thumb blue? What the hell? Why is my thumb blue? What? Only my thumb is blue. Oh yeah, so does this go in the fridge? I never, I, I don't, I never got a response. Does this go in the fridge like this or do I have to put it in a container in the fridge? Well, I gotta cool it cause I can't drink it yet, but I don't, I gotta use the pot. Oh, this will work. This thing is like pretty dirty. I ain't gonna lie. It's kind of dirty. But I'll use this because it's metal. Uh, I'll, just, I'll do it over the sink. I don't even know if you can see the sink. I can't see everything. Dude, am I not the goat at measuring things out? I measured out the fudge perfectly, and yo, look at this. I measured out the the jello perfectly as well. Dude, I am so goaded. Okay, what's next on the list? So that is J for jello. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get through that in a little bit when it cools down. Because remember, I don't eat hot or cold foods. Um, so now the next letter. So we did F for fudge. J for Jello, R. What else can you cook in a tiny pot? That thing. The R, and I'm gonna make it a special way, so keep in mind. The R stands, oh, by the way, the Jello cost, the Jello cost, One sixty-five, a dollar sixty-five for Jello. The R stands for. Oh my god, it's so hard to type or type. Ramen. You can make ramen in a small pot. Ah, you think about that one. So the next item on the list, I'll go grab, grab it right now. I have bought ramen. Wait, who's gonna cook raisins in a pot? So but I'll show you how I make my ramen or how I used to make it back then. I haven't eaten ramen in many years, but I'll show you all the tactics that go into making a successful ramen. Here we go. So first, obviously, you hold it at the top on the side. And what you do is you cut off the tops. There just ain't no doubt about it. If anybody says you do anything first, they're just an idiot. I don't know what to say. So you take off the top, right? This is, it's supposed to be standard, but not everyone does this. So boom. Cut off the tops because you have to deep dip, you have to dig deep inside and you pull out the flavor packet. Because what are you gonna, throw that in the pot? <laughs> yeah, who would do that? And you're, oh, oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to be boiling water currently. Again, it's gonna boil super fast because it's in the tiny pot. I used to make ramen in this thing, okay? A wok. That's how I used to make ramen. So it's gonna be a little bit different for me, but I'm gonna get used to it. Um, I also don't know how much water to put in. I think the instructions say, but you shouldn't follow that anyway. So I'm gonna fill this up about halfway to two thirds. Because you have to, um, you have to account for the other things I'm going to add to it. Um, actually, I'm going to do only like half, because I'm doing something with the broth, never before seen. I'm using the broth. So here we go. So I'm kicking up steam because this isn't some new shit. I've done this years ago. You see, I went for the expensive ramen. What am I supposed to get the the Mara Sean, the actual dog trash ramen? Yikes, that stuff's bad. What? It's just top ramen. 
Okay, guys, nobody's answered. Does this go in the fridge like this, or do I have to pour it into this? We need to know. It, I, guess, I just don't want it sitting here the whole time. I know one of you knows. I think I have to put it in this, but I don't want to. That's the problem. If I can just do that, it's great. But I, I think that's unsafe. So I want to know if I can leave it in there. That's what I'm trying to get at. And bro, you said I went to college? I melted plastic. I turned on my burner and it was the wrong burner. I melted this. So we, we're past that point. You had to be there. The, the beginning of the stream was the worst thing in existence. It was all a tragedy. The question is, will it be used or will it just sit in your fridge until you throw it away? Well, I think we know. Um, I mean, I'll just dump it. There we go. Tapioca, baby. Look at that. Lots of tapioca. Sitting in this tub. It's probably going to, like, just... Okay, all crusty. Okay. So I'll put a lid on that guy. And it goes into the fridge. Okay, but let me show you again. Oh, I can't show these yet. But let me go over some pricing. So we got ramen, right? How much was the ramen? The ramen was... The ramen, wait, each of these was 45 cents. What? That's pretty crazy. So just a, a fun fact about ramen, for those that don't know, everyone says this is what's going to kill you. But the reality is the high cholesterol comes from the actual nudes themselves. It's, and, and the sodium. It's not from, I mean, it, like this is obviously bad, but this is what's going to kill you. So by skimping on this, you're not doing anything. You would have to just not eat the actual noodles. Just FYI for everyone out there. I don't know why people just haven't like ever learned this, but it's a very important thing. If you want to eat healthier ramen, you have to just get actual noodles and not from a crap package. Well, I didn't start early. Well, I, the stream started at 1.30, but I started at 2. Okay, so this is uh, good enough to drink now. It's still a little bit warm. So apparently, I mean, I know a, a lot of people put it in uh, their fridge, but apparently people don't actually drink. Wait, I said three? Did I really? No way. Did I actually say three? No way. Did I mess up? Why does today keep getting worse and worse? Honestly, like I said, the beginning to this stream was the worst thing ever. I didn't even start on time. What is happening? How? I started on two because I thought, I don't know why, I thought I said two to everybody. But I said three apparently. Because it was good. I mean, like, it was good for content. It sucked for me. But I think it was funny to watch. Because, like, everything was going wrong. I don't know why. Like, the chocolate wasn't melting. And I was so confused. I don't know. 
I put the wrong burner on. Like, how was it? Like, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, so now it's boiling. So now you obviously bring it down a little bit to like a, a seven-ish. And then uh, when you remember, for the new people out there, you always take the lid away from you. You don't put it towards you or to the side. You always put it away. And then you dump in your little, little new guys. And the way you want to do it is you want to hold the bottom piece because now you've cut off the top. You hold the bottom and from a side view, you let it fall in. Because it won't splash because the water is, because it's such a small pan, the water is so high and it's coming in at a horizontal angle, it won't splash. It'll just fall in kind of like a ship going into water. If you've ever seen, you know, ships go into water. So there we go. And now this goes into the trash. And I take an actual, not this thing. I bought this today, by the way. Where is my, uh, I don't know. What do you call that thing? What do you call this with the holes in it? A grill flipper? This thing. So I got this now. And the only problem is with the smaller pot, both of these aren't really in the water. So that's a bit new for me. But you see, we got some water, we got some broth going. Check out what I'm gonna do to this. So I bought the ramen, right? That cost 45 cents each. But guess what I also bought? And I don't know which is which. The, the, the cashier, she must've been like 14 or something. And she also asked me, what are these? And I didn't, I didn't know how to answer because I know which is which. But one of these is cilantro and one of these is parsley. Did you know? One moment. Did you know a bag of parsley is only a dollar and a bag of cilantro is only $2? I know they look different, but I don't know which is which. But at the end of the day, both of them are going to this because we're making a soup. Because guess what? Not only are these two things going into the soup, we also have... And this has to be timed correctly. I don't want to uh, do some crazy shit. There's also going to be two eggs going into the ROM. It's wild. A lot of people haven't done it before, but it's very good. It's super tasty. But you have to time when the egg is gonna be cooked based off of how long the noodles still need to cook. Because what's gonna happen here is I'm actually creating a broth. I used to make kind of like a chicken noodle soup, but it's in a ramen soup. So it was ramen noodle soup, which obviously ramen is noodle, so it's noodle noodle soup. And you know, it was pretty good, but the last time I made it, it put me off forever. Because remember, I'm cooking, I'm cooking my ramen, and I'm putting it in the wok. The ramen is in the wok, right? And then I threw in some, I threw in my tomato, I threw in a little bit of pepper, I threw in the, the spices, I threw in like some other, you know, spices in a can, whatever they're called, in the plastic can. And then I realized the onions weren't cooked at all. So when I made, you know, like those giant, when you order a large soup at a Chinese restaurant, I made four of those of the soup and the onions were all raw. And it was just so disgusting because I couldn't put it, put it, put it in back to cook because everything would then cook and it would just get toasted. So it just had to go in the trash. It was, it was unedible, just raw onion in a soup. It was so disgusting. Okay, but the noodles, they obviously start, they, they part by themselves, but uh, it's nice to kind of help them along with it. You can see it's got a murky water. Dude, I don't know. I can't see shit, man. I just, I can't see my phone battery. That's the problem. Uh-oh. The stream is still on, yeah? I just closed my phone. Actual idiot. Um, so, uh, assuming the stream is on, 
a nice murky water. That's going to be all that cholesterol right there. Lovely. Well, how about, how is this for an excuse? What if I say that I said 3 p.m. because I was talking to Chris? How do you feel about that one? So the egg, well, he's in Texas. So he's an hour ahead, behind, whichever the way it goes. So what you do with the egg is you get a separate plastic bag. And you go. Boom. And that's how it's done. And I, I like to mix the egg because um, you gotta wash your hands because you know it's a little bit of egg. You don't gotta use soap because it'll just all gloop off. But you gotta mix it around. Where did the, the, the burger flipper go? Oh, there it is. So that's in there because I don't want just like an actual yellow sitting in there. So I'm gonna break the yellow and I'm gonna keep just keep stirring. Because see, now that, that broth is turning like even milkier and milkier, and the whites are getting instantly plumed. That's what you want to see. There's a lot of whites everywhere. It just scatters. So you, oh. So some water came off. So you're going to keep stirring, you're going to keep stirring. And then you just got to do the shuffle method to try to get like one noodle. You put it on a plate. Oh my goodness. And it's perfect consistency. I just naturally know the timing because I didn't used to make this a lot. Uh, but what you do here, by the way, you know, I, I don't like using a whole packet. So what I usually do, and I'll just do it over a plate, which, you know, this isn't the norm for me. But I just cut the packet in half. I mean, it just, it looks so scuffed. It's going to get everywhere. So I'm just going to pour out half. But I would normally just cut it in half and then like flip it around and nothing falls on the ground. So now you add a little bit of seasoning. Right. I did like a third of the pack, so not even that much. And then you want to take some of this shit, which is apparently this whole thing is only a dollar. If this is parsley, this whole thing is only a dollar. Like what the hell are they doing over there? They could double that. Nobody would even notice. It's so much. How are you supposed to use all of this? It's so much. Look at this thing. It's humongous. So like, you just break some off and you rip it apart. Because the thing is, um, the, uh, the seasoning packet is going to make it salty. So you have to add something bitter to it to kind of mellow it out. So parsley and cilantro works out really well for that. Because they are, if you don't know, bitter herbs. I almost just put the plastic wrapper in there. So now you just keep mixing it up. And now you got yourself a nice soup. Now normally again, I would put like a tomato or an onion in there, but it's just not gonna happen this time. But this is a nice soup. I've always drank the broth regardless. So I wanted a way to make the broth much better, healthier, and all that shit. So that's just a couple ways to really spice it up. Like the egg gives you protein and some flavor. And the herbs, like I said, it's salty, so you got to get bitter to kind of break that it's over-salty.
because the noodles themselves are the problem. It's not the, the seasoning packet, it's the noodles. Um, so now you just take it and I guess these go back in the fridge. You take it and you just pour it in a bowl. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm gonna do it over the counter. I don't, I don't trust this. Is this thing on? Uh, no, sorry. It's a mobile stream, so it wouldn't even work. Um, okay. So you come here, and then you just pour it in. Just like that. And do did I do it again? Oh my, do you guys see this? Am I not the portion king? I'm three for three on portion size. Look at this. I just wait, okay, the noodle went out. Oh my, look at that. It's perfect. If you didn't know me before, you know me now. And then there's always a couple noodles left in, you know, who knows why. So you could obviously just wash them away or you can keep them because why would you pay for food and then not eat it? So even though it's only 45 cents per packet, it's still something. So boom, there we go. And now obviously it's gonna be a little too hot so I can't eat it immediately, but I will check it out. And in the meantime, we have our Jello shot. We have the, the pack of Jello. And like I said, I don't know how people haven't ever done this, but it's nice to just drink Jello. It tastes really good. And if you haven't tried it, you really should. Because you can put it away. So the problem that I have with making food is that if you put it in the fridge, which you can't see, but the fridge is right here. If you put it in the fridge, you have to wait. It says four hours or some shit. You have to wait four hours to actually eat it. But I want the jello now. So right, the soup is cooling, the jello is here. Like it, 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 it tastes exactly the same. It's not like the sugar is going away. It tastes really good. Um, and you can do jello shots with this jello. I don't have any liquor. I have a box, but I have this box of liquor, but it's literally just an empty box. It's got a cool like lid and everything, so I like it. Um, I haven't had a drink in like forever. So, yeah, I don't know why people don't just drink the Jello. It's the same. But okay, now this might fall. It's still so hot. It's really hot. Um. Make two portions. Well, I mean, like, I'm not, I'm not going to drink the whole thing. Like, one serving of... So, this box, it has four servings in it. This little box. So, this is four servings, and each of these... is 19 sugar. So 19 times four, it's like 80, you know, 36. Wait, that's half. Oh, wait, times four, not two. I don't know why I'm dumb. There you go, 72. This is 72 grams of sugar. So I don't like wanna make it all now. So I would just drink some now and then you could put it in the fridge and it'll cool. And then you can eat the Jello later. One of the things is that I don't like about Jello is when you cool it, you lose it. Cause some of it you'll never get off the side. But in liquid form, you would never lose a drop. So I'm getting my value by actually just drinking it. 
But okay. So that was number three, right? The R stands for Ramen. Now we have a P. And the P should be something rather familiar, okay? The P, where's my pen? Oh, here it is. The P The P stands for pudding. So a very a very close relative. Fuck, you probably couldn't even see that. A very close relative to Jello is made by the same brand, but it is Jello pudding. So how do I make this? Two cups of cold milk. Beat pudding mix in milk in a whisk with two minutes. Pudding will be soft set in five... What the hell? What? I... What? You whisk. I don't have a... Wait, I do have a whisk. I've never used it. Aha! Hey, everything is falling, but it's okay. My charger is about to fall off the table, though, and that's very concerning. Okay, but look, this whisk that I've never used. This is not part of the $100. That was easy. So I have to whisk it, but I guess I'll get this bowl here that I've also had and never used. But there's this bowl here. Hopefully it's big enough. I have no idea how big of a thing I'm making. So, it says to open it here, there's a perforated mark. What is Jell-O pudding? It's just Jell-O brand. They make pudding as well. You've never had this? Why would I open there when I can just tear the side open? What a weird rule. Okay, so I'm supposed to put this and two cups of water. There's no way that all fits in this little thing. I'll put it in this cup. This seems so not good. This seems not smart. What? Well, this works actually. Okay, okay. So I take this and I rip it. Now I need two cups of cold water. There's no way this works. There's not enough room for two cups. Oh my goodness. There's no way it works. I need something that can hold two cups and pudding powder. I mean, I, the problem is I would use this, but it literally has soup in it. I don't have bowls. <laughs> uh, I only have... Oh, wait, this is... What if I just use this Omega roll? What the fuck? <laughs> Actual dumbass. It's just sitting there. Okay, so now I gotta get my cups again. And uh, it did say cold, right? I gotta check this. It said cold, not hot, right? Two cups cold milk. One. And a little bit to count for the amount that would have splashed out. Three. Okay, and now I whisk it. Beet pudding mix and milk. Oh, I just put water in it. goodness just fuck it up it's gone I put like one cup of milk in it oh my goodness
Well, now it's got milk and water. I, it's, it's gone. It's, it's like this parsley that got stuck on the, the, the grill. It's never coming back. Uh, I, I, I'll whisk it. Uh, whisk it for two minutes. Okay, so it's 6.53 according to the stove. Look at this, man. It looks so dumb. There's so much liquid. I've never made pudding by myself, but I assume this is too liquidy. Uh. Wait, does, wait, does it make a moose now? Is that how that works? Is it gonna make a moose? Any moosers? I've never made moose. I really don't even know how it works. Or is, a mo is moose cream? Is it crema? Is it crema? Oh. It will be moose? Okay. Boil it? Well, I can't boil the water out because like the powder was in there. Or wait, are you saying I'm supposed to boil this? No. What the fuck? I'm so confused. It never says to cook it. And what is going on? It never says to cook the pudding. It says two cups of cold milk. Beat at pudding and mix with whisk two minutes. Pudding will be soft set in five minutes. What? What kind of pudding does not get heated up? What? That doesn't make any sense. How? It's supposed to be hot and then you put it in the fridge and it cools and then it gets that, it gets that, that top layer. What? What is it called? It, it's, it has a name. It's like a film. It, uh, the, the, the pudding top has a name. And I personally don't like it. I don't like the top. Why would you cook it? Because that's, that's what I've always done. Wait, so you're saying I have to cook it now because I have too much water? What pudding is this? This is not pudding. I don't, what? What? You are definitely supposed to heat this thing up. Because then you put it in the fridge and it cools down. That's why you have to put it in the glass. I mean, I've always made Jell-O brand pudding. Slash like 20 years ago. I mean, not that's too long ago, but. Oh my, it's so hot. But look, the nice thing about this is it like solidifies as a unit. So like you pick it up and it's like a, it's, it's like a, a mass because it's a thick brothy soup. And part of it is the egg just adding like mass. And um, when the, the when the proteins break as the, the egg separates, it then recombines with the liquid of the ramen. So the whole thing kind of becomes a conjoined unit. In case you were wondering the science behind it. Which you probably weren't, but it becomes nice and thick. Ramen looks so good. Yo, thank you. I don't know what's happening with this. Look at it. What does the whisking do? I mean, I guess it like easily formats it across the body of itself, but I don't understand what I just made. I, I really don't know. I, I, I wanna, I, I'm just gonna heat it up. This is supposed to be boiling. You're supposed to put it in boiling water. I don't know what the hell I made. 
I'm heating it up. This is not right. This is no good. Oh, adds air. Hmm. The air part makes sense. I can see that being a thing. But I'm heating this bad boy up. We're not doing whatever. This is... it. I don't know. This is some government speak on a pudding thing. You know what I'm talking about? April 6th. Who's with me? Did you see what happened on March 6th, Bob? Did you see it? Look at that. Look at this, dude. It's just so hot. Look at this. Look at that nice piece of egg. And it's just sauced up. You see that? It's just so saucy. Like, that's a seasoned egg right there. That looks good. Oh, yeah. Let me get some more jello. My teeth are just blue now. It's good. It will work if you keep going. Okay, well, I'll whisk and heat. I don't trust this no heat process. I don't like it. See, it's getting stuck to the bottom. See, it's getting stuck to the bottom because it's not heated up. It's gotta be heated up. How fast? So I like turbo speed this? Is that bad for the pan? I feel like that's not good. Wait, aren't I scratching up the stainless steel? That can't be good. I think I that like that's ruined the pot. How many days until you clean it up? I mean, it's kind of a mess, but it's all sitting in the other sink right now. So it's not like, I said to take all of that and throw all of it away. So like it's all in one spot, which is nice. Bro, this looks so good. And I wanna eat it, it's just so hot. It's so hot. Okay, that, that didn't help. Oh wait, why don't I just use this thing? This is safe. What the fuck is, what? Is that, there's still powder. Somehow it didn't get mixed. There's still powder in there. What? I thought I burnt the spatula, but then I was like, wait, it's plastic. Or wait, wait, it is, pl it is plastic. Isn't this no good? Wait, is this not supposed to go in there? Is it gonna melt? It makes some weird ass noises when I touch it. I don't know if you can hear that, it's boiling. I don't know if you can hear this, but it's like a volcano. I feel like, did I ruin the pot? Is it over? It feels rigidy, but I don't know if that's the pudding sticking to the bottom or if I scraped up the stainless steel. Is it, because if you scrape up the stainless steel, isn't it like uh, toxic? Like I'm eating metal or something? Isn't that a thing? Bro, this thing sucks. I don't know what I made, but it sucks. Oh, 
Oh, skin. It's called skin. The top of the pudding is skin. And that's because it went from a, a hot to a cold environment. Skin. You guys have heard of that, right? I mean, I tried to whisk as best as I could. I feel like I did it for more than two minutes. I did it like for four. The problem is I can't do anything until this is done because it's the one pot challenge. I'm just gonna turn it off, drink some more Jello. Let me get my fork. My fork's right here. Is it actually Jover? Put it in the fridge, but I, I need the pot. Unless, I mean, yeah, I can do this, I guess. I'll take this and I'll just put the, the pudding in it. Cause I know glass is all good. Glass doesn't give a shit what you put in it. Oh. Cause I used to put the glass in the oven. So I know it's like, they can withstand heat. Now I'm gonna clean this off. Remember, you wanna add water very slowly to hot things because it'll steam up and because it's cool. So what I always do personally is I always wet the bottom of it. You see how it's like getting messed up? Because this is really where the heat is. The heat was on the bottom of the pan. I don't even know if you can see this, but I'm just hoping you can. Yeah, it looks like you probably can. Um, so, I mean, like, I do a lot more water, but I just wanted to show it without wasting a ton of water. So I'll do this, because this is what's going to cool everything down. And then you can come in, and it's like you've already chilled it by, like, 50%. And that's, that's a pretty big moment. And, like, the chocolate's stuck, the pudding is stuck on the bottom. I don't know what to do about that. Do you see that? It's just brown. What the fuck is going on? Is that normal? Does that happen when you guys make pudding? It's just on the bottom. I don't get it. And this water is so hot. I don't know why the water coming out is hot. It's on like the middle setting. It's just up straight. Whatever. We're gonna rock this into the next one. We gotta get moving. Bro, it's already it's already burnt. My, my stainless steel is already burnt. What the hell have I done? I gotta get a new pot. It's already ruined. Look at it. It won't come off. I mean, it kind of came off. Yeah, I'm getting a new one. Maybe the green is a good. Okay. I don't know why it's stained, man. I don't know why. Oh my goodness, I clicked something. Ah. Well, now I got... I got it. Look at it though, it looks ass. It's 
It doesn't look right. It looks like cereal. It looks like Rice Krispie cereal. Like it's got chunks in it everywhere. What the fuck is happening? Okay, well this is going in the fridge with the fudge. Ugh. Okay. The reason I don't care that there's, there's chocolate on this one at all is because in the next one, it could use the chocolate. Now I understand why you want a personal chef. Yes, I'm telling you. I've been saying it for years. It's not like I don't know what happens in my own kitchen. I want a personal chef. That's like if I got money, that would, it would like, that's the number one person. Because... Like, I mean, this is okay, but at the end of the day, it's ramen. Like, this is like, this isn't actual food. And like, if I want jello, I mean, I, I would kind of prefer this, I guess. But it's not good for me. Well, no, no, no. So, the reason, it's still steaming. Is that normal? There's still heat coming out of the pot. Okay, but the reason I don't care if that's there is because I'm doing something in a whole new method I've never done before. I've made this thing many times by using the microwave, never the pot. Do you know what O stands for other than Omega Lol? Oh, my pen is dirty. Oh, wait, it was just dust. That was all clean. It does, yo, nice one. You can't put an orange in a pot. It is oatmeal. See, I'm not very good at writing like this because I'm not an e-girl. Wait, it's slanted. Oh my goodness. That's a bad one. Look how good it started. Look at that fudge and the jello. Those look good. Okay, so now, now I have to make oatmeal on the stove. It's still, it's still got smoke coming out of it. So normally what I do is I take two packages and I put it in the red bowl and then I put milk up to it. So it's like at an even level and it goes in there in the microwave for about um, I think I do a minute and then like I mix it and do another 30 seconds. I think that's what I used to do. I don't really make oatmeal. Your stove is still hot, no? No. Uh, both of them are turned off and uh, it's black. I have a uh, electric one, so I can just, you know what I'm saying? Best thing so far is the only international thing I'm gonna use ramen. Well, you'll see. Um, so what do I do with this? Empty a packet into a microwave safe bowl. What do you want? What the fuck? They're both microwave options. Look at it. What? What? Microwave directions. Microwave directions. See, it's here. Empty packet into bowl. Add up to a half a cup of hot milk or boiling water, stir. Let stand. So I'm gonna do that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do it a special way. We're not gonna use the microwave because we're using the stove. So check this out. We're doing it the pot method. If it doesn't exist, it does now. So I added one cup because I'm going to use two packets, right? That makes sense? Where do the packets go?
And then I heat this up. And then I just pour this into it apparently. I gotta wait for it to get hot though, whatever that means. With water, yeah, no. I've never done, uh, I don't know. In general, like pudding, why would you use water? Oatmeal, why would you use water? I understand if like you can't have milk, but in anything you create, if it says put water in it, you could actually just put milk in it. And it works out totally fine. And it probably tastes better because it's gonna be creamier and sweeter. And every food is better when it's creamier and sweeter. So. I don't know what to tell you. I really want to eat this, man. But why is it still so hot? Bro, it is such a mold. Like, you touch it over here, and the whole thing jiggles. It's so good. Look at this. My hand is so shaky because, like, I hold it at the edge. So, like, you touch this, and the whole thing jiggles. It is a unit. Here's the milk, by the way. Shout out to the milk. Is that a bad noise? I feel like that's bad. It's too hot. It's still too hot. I don't know if anybody else does that, but this is the method I use for finding out if it's too hot. Because the bowl is always going to be hotter than what's inside of it. Because, like, the, the heat spreads out and then it goes back in, right? So, this is going to be cooler than the bowl. So, if the bowl seems somewhat okay, you touch it. Because you should never eat anything that's too hot to touch. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, yo. So, check this out. Yo! I just found a new way to make chocolate milk. Yo! Ever think about that? I made chocolate milk. That's pretty good. Ah, oh, it's so hot. Even my hand just being over it. Whoa. Okay. So let's put this here. And then I just put this in, apparently. Wait, what? Dude, these directions are the opposite. This one says pour unheated water and shit into it. And this one says add it. And then let's stand. You just let it sit there. I've never made real oats before. Is that a good thing or bad? Because, like, I'm pretty strong without ever eating oats. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't know. Should I? But see, now I got chocolate oatmeal. Yum. Like, I'm not even kidding, dude. I just made something so good. A little bit of a little chocolate pudding oatmeal. That's going to be good. So, by the way, I was going to have a lot of funny things going on while I was making the food, but I it's too many things to multitask. So, like, for example, for the oatmeal, I was going to say, um, I, I prepared a lot for the stream and the prep isn't coming out to the final product because I'm a one man team and it's, it's a little bit too hard. Um... But like, so like, for example, I was going to say, um, so you heat up the milk and then what you want to do is you want to blanch the oatmeal by putting the oatmeal in the milk and it'll clear off all the imperishables inside of it. So I was going to say stuff like that, where if you don't even know the lingo, it sounds smart and dumb, but if you know the lingo, then it just sounds completely random. Because if you don't know what blanching is, then, like, I sound smart, maybe. But I... 
I don't, I don't really do scripted things in general, right? So I'm not very good at saying things that aren't real. Like this pasta that I made, you're supposed to like cook it till it's al dente. And then it, it, it finishes cooking in the pot. So you have to pre-time that and you have to pre-time the egg. And you have to pre-time the, the herbs to not burn. So there's a lot of that shit. Um, but I can't talk about how all those timings are working because I'm trying to actually just make the food as well. I, I don't know. I'm just a one man streamer, you know? When you get people doing your, your audio, doing your video, it allows you to be so much freer. And I would like that, but obviously I can't pay for a cameraman. This was already $100. That's a lot of money. A hundred dollars on a string. What am I gonna pay like two hundred dollars for someone to film it? Sheesh. And literally, <laughs> I'm spending money to what? Eat Jello pudding, ramen, and, and oatmeal, and fudge. You haven't seen the other two yet, but keep in mind that's what we've made so far. Put it as a tax write-off? Um, technically, yes, and technically, no. So, I don't remember if this is going to be... I think this is my... I think I can't use it this year. Or maybe I can't. I think I, I, think I can write it off this year, technically. Um, I mean, you can technically write it off indefinitely, but it's so hard for me to actually be able to justify anything. So, in the U.S., they, they have this distinction between hobbies and, um, like, businesses. Like, are you actually working or are you working and you would have done it even if, like, you know, you don't really get a money from it, right? So a hobby or a business. Now, I always run my stream like a business. You know, anybody's able to donate. You know, I'll do some things if people want to donate, whatever, whatever. But I make almost no money. So it's hard to justify that it's like really for profit if I've been doing it for 12 years and I haven't made a profit. It's like, it's almost like you're, you're so dumb you shouldn't be investing in it. So that's why it's a hobby because I spent $100 to have a fun stream, not necessarily to make money back. So it just looks like a hobby because when your success rate is zero and I, I can't even justify it, I like streaming, it's fun. So like, it, it basically is a hobby, but I'm trying to make it a business. But, you know, it's just never gonna happen. This thing, I don't understand. Like, it didn't work. This didn't work. Does anybody have any clues? It still looks like this. Um, and one thing is, I put my profession on my tax return, so I say I'm an accountant. So technic, I mean, some people, I don't know. It's like, it's like whether you believe it or not. But when you say you're an accountant, uh, they could look at you more scrupulous because they say you're some person who's supposed to be in the know of these things. So, they would technically look at my returns at a higher rate than other people because there's like. Mine shouldn't have flaws, but if there's weird things on it, then it looks like I could be doing dodgy things because I know the system, right? So I don't want to go anywhere near that, so I just wouldn't write it off. Like, when it gets to the third year, I'm not going to do it. The, the last year, I think for 22, I did it my first year because I bought the computer specifically for streaming. So I put that and other expenses into it as well. This suit is just broken. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Cook the oatmeal longer, but I, 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 I didn't cook the oatmeal at all. It says, empty the packet into the bowl and then add a half a cup of hot milk or boiling water. So I boiled the milk in the pan, in the pot, and then I put the packet into it, which is essentially the same thing. And then you're just supposed to wait. So, I don't know what's wrong. Like, I can't just cook it longer and it'll evaporate out, but I don't know what I did wrong. 
Like I put I put one cup of milk because I have two packets. And I think you're really supposed to do like 75% of a cup. It's so hot. This bowl is so good at keeping heat, but it just, it doesn't cool down. But I'm telling you, man, this egg that's been soaking, it's so good. And then you get bits and pieces of the white everywhere. So I'm used to heating both together, but that's the microwave strat. I don't know. I've never done it in a pot. I don't know. The thing is, I like milky oatmeal because I like milk. So like I'm down with the extra milk. I just don't like that I made it wrong somehow. That's what I don't like. <clears throat> I don't even know if I have a big enough bowl for that. I don't know if the blue bowl works. It might. It might be too small. Okay, so oatmeal is done. I can't eat that because it's too hot. This is still, it's just not cooling down. I don't know why. I don't want to put it in the fridge because I don't mess with it, but I'm just going to keep going. So the M, does anybody know what the M stands for? Any guessers? This is good. This is good. I think the M should be one of the easier ones. I don't think I would have gotten O because I don't really eat oatmeal. <clears throat> but the M I think is probably an easy one. How'd the fudge turn out? Um, well, wait, uh, Bob, when did, when did it go in the fridge? Okay, yeah, macaroni, good job. I don't know when it went in the fridge. I have a question though, since you already made the fudge. When I was done cooking the fudge, it already seemed like fudge. Why does it have to go in the fridge? Because it already seemed pretty dense. Like it was, it was pretty solid already. Is it just supposed to be a rock? Oh no, I hate when fudge is in the fridge, shit. When we used to go to the fudge place, we would specifically like not put it in the fridge. Oh my goodness. So here is the tin that I prepared. And what's really cool about it is there's matcha on the bottom, in the tin, and on top. So like, is it, oh wait, it's a fucking rock. Yeah, see, isn't this bad? How are you supposed to eat this? 605, thank you. Okay, so it's 727, so about 30 minutes. I don't know how to get it out. Why is it brown? Because somehow it's not white, I don't know. Is it, well, it's a nonstick pan, if that matters. How did it turn out hard, bro? Because fudge, when you put it in the fridge, turns rock solid. That's why you're not supposed to put it, I mean, people like it in the fridge. You essentially, so what you do is, um, or at least what I was used to doing, was you essentially like just scrape a piece off and then you eat it. And it, and it lasts forever because it's really flavor, like fudge is super flavorful, right? So you just kind of like, you just keep shaving off pieces. 
That's what I'm used to doing. If you follow the recipe, it doesn't turn out super hard. Well, I don't know what I, I don't. I feel like I followed it. I added, let me get the recipe back. So I added the 300 zesty gram Weisse chocolate and then I put it in the sauna, right? It was sitting in the sauna for so long and maybe it didn't melt enough because I don't know how to do it. And then I added the 100 zesty gram Kodentmilch. Oh, I said that wrong. Uh, Kodentmilch. So I add Kodens, it's hard to say the S. I can't do the S. I added the 100 zesty gram Kodensmilch. I can't do the L there. See, I don't know. It's, it's, I'm having problems with some of the letters. Um, after that, and then it seemed, it sucked up all of the, the it sucked up all of the condensed milch, and then I took it out. Is that bad? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it fucking happened, but when I was at the store, I literally picked it up and I looked at it, and I saw it was cookies with white chips in it. But when I have it here at home, they're black chips. And I don't know. It's somewhere in here. I don't know how the white chips turned black, but they did. And I don't know, I felt pretty bad. And I still feel sad. But how does your fudge not turn into rocks? How do you take it out? Is it stuck? Wait, there we go. What? It didn't work! What the hell? I put it all up in the hole. It's not, it, what happened? It was so smart. It didn't get on the sides. It's in the hole. It's all up in the hole, on everywhere, on all sides. There's green shit all up in, on the sides, splattered around, and it's just not there. Let me try one of the later ones. The later ones I added more, but it still shouldn't matter. Mm. See, there we go. So that's what I was kind of going for. But it looks scuffed. Why didn't I mix the... Wait, you're supposed to put it in it? She didn't say that. That was not in the rule book. She says to make it into a ball and then put it on it. And I don't know why... The rules, the rules confuse me. Because what she said is, you, you make the fudge. And then you take a third of the matcha, and then you put it ar around it. And then you put it in the fridge, and then it's done. So I don't know where, she, she didn't say where to use the other two thirds of it. She only used a third. It doesn't say put two thirds in it. I, I thought it was supposed to be like a topping, a zest. Right. What, does this not look natural? This tastes nasty. I mean, it's weird. I don't like this green stuff. Like, it's fine, but I don't know. I just want the fudge. Look, look. Yeah. Like you eat it, and then it solidifies on you whenever it touches any source of liquid. What is this shit? So, if I take a sort, like look, look at it, if you put water on it, it just turns like, like dark green. Yes, Tate, we've already gone over this, and I already got super fucking triggered right when I started cooking. It's not white, and we don't know why. It's not like a paste on me. I'm telling you, if you go back, so like, go an hour back, like, go 30 minutes after the stream and rewatch it 
Yo, the beginning of the stream was so fucking bad. It was just bad. Everything was going wrong. I had an intro, and I saw I, I did my intro into making the fudge, and then I was like, fuck this shit. It's all over. Today sucks. I'm, I'm riding my wave back with this fucking ramen, though. The ramen I made is fucking slabbing shit all the way down south. The Cubans are going to start smelling this. Look at it. They're like, they're like, there's almost no liquid because everything got absorbed and the nudes are exploding with flavor. Same thing with this giant egg piece. Mmm. Look at it. Cooked literally perfectly. Do you see it? It's see-through because it's still perfect. Like, I actually cooked this perfectly. Look at it. I don't remember, I don't know what this kind of egg is called, but the people try to, people try to make hard boiled eggs cook just like this. I don't know what it's called, but it, it's literally, look at it. Look at it. It's perfect. I didn't go to MIT. I'm just really cool. Okay, the milk and water thing, that was just a mistake. Let me look at this oatmeal. It's still, look at it. Why does it never harden? Okay, guys, we gotta go on to the next letter, okay? We gotta, we gotta stop going back on the, I'm never gonna end this stream. The M, as Bridget has already said, the M stands for Macaroni! You don't know what dish is? I made ramen, but I made ramen into an actual soup. So it's great. Where are we spelling? These are all the foods I've made. There's a C there, but it's kind of fucked. Because the, 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 the fumes hit it. Okay, macaroni. So I got a treat for you guys. You probably never had this before. But this is, hear me? Gluten-free mac and cheese. Let's give it a go. So how do I make this? So there are two ways. There's the classic prep and the cooking instructions. Oh, wait. You prep and then you instruct. Never mind. Am I gluten sensitive? Everybody is, so yeah, why not? Um, no shot you putting in that pot. What? What is clean? It's just oatmeal and chocolate. What, it's gonna help? Well, you don't want some little zest? So, our warm cheesy macaroni fills your belly and feeds your soul. It's pure comfort inside now, so go ahead, help yourself smiley face. Okay, so just like with the ramen, you take out the pack. This is gonna be cheese. It's a powder. What? It's not, it's not actual cheese. I thought I got the one with actual cheese. How do you know if it has actual cheese or not? This is just powder. but it's definitely dead. Oh. I thought you were gonna say something not dead. Okay, but uh, six cups of water, bar bargerin butter, tablespoon milk, boil water, stir, drain, add. That's easy enough. Wait, so do I put water and milk in it? Water and milk. Boil the water. Oh, the milk is for the cheese. But no, no, Bob, we learned condensed things are still liquid. So this is dry cheese, not condensed. Water. So now I need water, okay? I'm not messing it up. Real water. Where are the cups?
Is anybody counting? Because I haven't been. How many was that? Anybody know? I'm going to guess this is six. Wait, what the fuck? There's some like crusty shit in there. What is this crusty thing? Do you see it? I don't know if you can see the pan, but there's some like crusty thing in there. It says milk. No, it says water. Too many? Well, I mean, it'll boil out anyway. This should be fine. Uh, okay. It's on low. What the fuck? Why was it sitting on low? Who didn't turn the stove off? Milk goes in. Well, no, the milk is for... I need a separate bowl for the milk for this. I don't think they touch each other. You guys don't even know. Only Bob knows what's actually happening to this macaroni. You guys don't even know. Just think about that. See, one of the cool things about the way I made this too is because it's like a unit, you know how when you eat ramen, you're like, fuck, man, these strings are so damn long. Well, because it's a unit, it just rips. So there's not like, you don't get this giant strand of spaghetti that like you have to, you just get this, you know, and it's fucking good. So it's easy to eat, like look. You just rip it. You just rip it off. Normally you get a huge strand, right? But this just rips easily. It's so easy. What's the C? The C should honestly be pretty easy. It's not cold ramen. I'm telling you, this, this bowl, I got it from Walmart like a while ago. It keeps it really warm. I don't know why there's a noodle <laughs> under the bowl, but I mean, it tastes good. And it's healthy. I got greens. Like, you can't tell me this doesn't look good and the fact that it rips. See, I don't cook at all, but when I do, I go for flavor and form. I used to not be able to chew things because my jaw was super messed up. And now I use a night guard and for some reason that fixes a lot of things. And yeah. Where's the jello? The jello is right here. And this is what I've been drinking, if you haven't noticed. I'm telling you, this is goaded, man. People don't, people don't even know. But you guys know now. Yeah, I don't know why. Do you guys know? Do you guys get this? Wait. There's something, there's something crazy about this burner. It literally just turned on. You saw that, right? And I didn't touch the knob at all. It wasn't cooking. Oh, it just went out. Did you see that? Why did they go out? Now it's back on. Do you guys see this? 
You can see that, right? I didn't touch shit. It went out again. Guys. Is it on for too long or something? Maybe this is like a safety measure? I don't get it. What's going on? Yeah, because whether it's hardened or not hardened, it's literally the same thing. It tastes the same, it goes down the same. It's just, it, I like it better softer. I, I used to be the Jello slurping champion, though. Just know that. And I probably still could whip anybody's ass. I was the Jello slurping king. I've never. Well, I mean, I, just, I, mean I literally just said it's happened a couple times. But. Uh, how does it break? What do you mean it broke? Like, why would it break? Okay, wait, it's off, and it's on. Do you see this? Oh, wait, I turned on the wrong burner. Wait. Yeah. I just turned the wrong one on, actually. But wait, I turned the wrong one on, but why was it on then? Wait, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. I put, I put the top one on, but the bottom one was flickering. But the top one wasn't... I don't... I'm so lost. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Why is it so hot? Ah. That hurts. Ow. Why is it so hot? I don't understand it. It's like, you can't put your hand above, like really high above the, the burner. It's still hot. Mm. Mm. Okay, I turned them both off. Let's see what happens. Use the same one too many times? It's only been like two hours. What do you mean? Let me try this oatmeal. I mean, the oatmeal tastes good. And if you didn't, if you, if you don't, didn't, like, don't remember or weren't here, this is chocolate pudding oatmeal. That's why it's got specks in it. Yo, this doesn't look right. This doesn't look right. I don't know if closing my phone fucks with the stream, but sorry. This doesn't look right. Boom. No, that's like the old oatmeal and the old pudding. But like neither burner is on right now. It's just smoking, but I don't even know why. Neither burner is on.
Yo, yeah, what's up, Mr. Schnitzel? Uh, well, I've been cooking all this stuff, bro. I cooked all these things. Well, actually, we're doing the macaroni now. But we're having a burner blowout currently. So I'm just kind of waiting because I don't know what to do. <clears throat> you don't think the glass top cools down that fast? Wait, what? Talking about others? Oh, the stove. I don't know. I feel like it's, you know, it's like, mm. <clears throat> I don't know. I'll just use this one. Wait, but I, okay. So what do I do now? It is steaming above where the switches are. I'm a genius. Yo, find me streaming. What up, dude? Logic of the year right here. Dude, I'm not going anywhere near that, dude. I don't know, like... I don't know, you put, like, my hand isn't even red, but, like, putting my hand here... It was burning. Like, it was burning alive. Just because, like, that thing was hot. And I brought, like, when I picked this up to go over it, my hands were, like, toasted. It hurt a lot. They were, they were like, getting, they were getting cooked. In the, like, not good way. <clears throat> Usually there's a light. Well, yeah, there's this thing. What I don't get is, what can we get? It says cooktop on, cooktop hot. And that's because this one's on now. But it, like when I turn off that thing, I think the hot goes away too. I don't really get it. See there, I got like a strand, but it wasn't a long strand at all. Shout outs to me. I'm telling you that like, just drinking Jello, it's way better. It's so much better. I have an idea. Check this out. What would be better than Jello? That kind of worked. That kind of worked. So if you put milk in the Jello, so the, the problem with Jello is that it's too sweet, right? <clears throat> so I put milk in it. I put milk in it and it, it, it kind of chilled the sweet and gave it cream. So it's almost not like a milkshake, you know, but it kind of like did that to ice cream. It made it a milkshake of the Jello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm watching. I've boiled over too many times, but thank you. I, I, it's so sad when you do it too, cause like the only way to stop it is to take the top off and then more flows over and you're like, oh. And then like you're freaking out. But I've learned to chill over the years because it's just happened. <clears throat> cause I'll go like watch a stream, which is like in the other room and then I'll just forget. Remember, always open away, and I kind of messed up. 
I, I, you're not supposed to anchor it, but I did, because I was trying to do instructing without, like, doing myself. But you don't want to anchor it away, you want to tilt it so that the liquid falls off, but... I can't speak and do, I really can't. I've proven this over the years, it's rough. Okay, but here the roni goes in. Where's the roni? In pasta, sir in pasta, cook eight to nine min or until tender. Okay. This, I, th I think this is the bad macaroni, honestly. This is like the super small skinny tubes. It's not the, the... Okay, so here you go. Here, here's what I, the jokes I was going to make with macaroni. I'm telling you, I, I, I don't like to script things. So you can like best believe that nothing I ever do is scripted. Because let me tell you my, my, my one-liner jokes here. Okay. So I wrote them down, right? They were in this book. I, so I was supposed to say right there that, okay, now I blanch the macaroni. Because I'm shocking the macaroni in the water and I'm releasing some of the flavors. So I'm breaking the bonds of the, the noodles by putting it in hot water. So I'm shocking it. You don't actually blanch, you, you blanch vegetables, you know? You don't blanch noodles, but it's, it's a similar process. Um, I was gonna say now we're making uh, now we're making macaroni uh, cordon bleu. I was also supposed to say that with the Jello, we're making Jello cordon bleu because it's blue. Um, I was supposed to say, oh, when I, when, I, when I just poured in the pasta, I was supposed to say, okay, so now that the water's boiling, you want to throw in the you know, the, the cavatelli or the trene or whatever type of pasta you have into your pot. I was gonna say that instead of macaroni noodles. I was going to randomly, very randomly, while I'm doing the macaroni segment, say the word tartar. At like a totally improper moment where it doesn't even match the meaning or the section of the sentence. I just, I have it all here. I just, I don't do it, you know? It's not possible. This is why I can't claim it on taxes. Because I'm not actually a streamer. I'm just a fucking idiot. Like, I spent a couple hours today preparing a bunch of shit, and I didn't even do any of it, you know? And I was supposed to make al dente jokes the whole stream. Where are those at? But some insight on how streaming works, in case you're wondering. If you've never streamed yourself or you don't get it, you have to do all of that and then input it into the stream. And then the stream comes out well, so you're not some guy that just sits here drinking milk jello. And eating oatmeal that didn't turn out correctly. That I think is fine. I like slop. So I like it, but it's not good. Also, I haven't been stirring my, uh, I haven't been stirring my cavatelli at all. Fuck, it's stuck. It seems to have formed groups. So now I gotta poke at it to break the noodles apart. Oh my goodness. They're actually like gigantic forms of segmentations. I don't know, I have a very high bar to not get triggered, but I trigger myself so often. It's not good. I can never really figure out how to fix it. Like, I'm still mad about like everything that went wrong. It's rough. 
But think about it, guys. I know you were complaining that like this isn't international food, but can we talk about how we have a lot of international people in the stream right now? We are in North America. We are in Europe. We are in Australia. Um, I don't think anybody's watching from Asia. And South Americans probably hate me. And I don't really know anybody in Africa. So I don't know anybody who's ever wanted to go to Africa. So nobody's probably there. Japan. Who is in Japan? You're in Japan right now? I thought you did your trip like a month ago. Great, now I've ruined the Japanese trip. Oh my goodness. Also, why isn't this cooking? I don't, this single burner shit is so weird. It like, it doesn't cook. I don't get it. I've used double burners like forever. It's like, why not use the double burner? Why not? This shit still feels like cardboard. Yikes. Africa, who's in Africa? I don't. I know. I know. I know. Like South Africa is very big in esports, um, but it's like really just that country. Like that's where EG is now, right? <laughs> that's what I was told. I know you guys won't believe me, but it's literally so good. Like, I would say, you're in Japan, cook this and show it to the Japanese people and see what they say. It's so good. Also, isn't it like 3 a.m. or something? Japan and Australia are on the same time zone, right? <clears throat> Let's see you get deported. No way. They'll just call you a gaijin and then laugh at you. <clears throat> we got to show them. Like, like, I'm telling you, man. Look at this. Egg. It's so good, and it's a great way to, like, get some protein in your ramen that isn't some, like, I don't know. When you go to, like, a ramen place, I don't like going to them because, like, you get, like, beef or you get, like, chicken, and literally half of the thing is just fat sitting in the soup. And it's like, where's the meat? You know, it's like the, the Wendy's commercial, where's the beef? You know, it's like, but what happened to the meat? I don't get it. Where did it go? 11 p.m. That's not bad. That is not bad. 11 p.m. on a Saturday night. Wait. That means... I don't know what time it is. Because this says 8.03, but I, I don't know what time it really is. Because my, my microwave doesn't have a timer. Uh, you probably can't see it anyway. It doesn't have a time. Because, like, I live in Florida. You know the power randomly goes out. I guess it's not rainy season. <clears throat> Actually, it is. Summer is the rainy season. And winter. Um, so I guess I could put a time in now. Is this done? Okay, so this is al dente. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain it, and then I'm not going to touch it for a while, and you'll see why. 
Have these like can you have you been able to see this or no? Is whatever's under my hand on the stream or no? Because I don't I don't even know. It's just been sitting there the whole time. I don't know why I'm putting it in the fridge. I don't want it frozen. One of the one of the pro tips, honestly, is you put it in the freezer, and it becomes fucking crazy dense. Uh, so the strainer, dude, it's all the way up there. All the way up. Also, is the cheese cooked? No, the cheese is not even prepped yet. And that's part of it. This is why it's a mystery. When it comes to me, I don't do things, right? So this stream was supposed to just be me making fudge. And I turned it into me making one, two, three, four, five, six, seven objects. I had to buy all this shit, make all this shit, fucking figure out my, my burners are dying. I take a small, tiny little idea and I fucking explode it. That's what I do. I'm not very good at doing it, but this next one is going to be one of the most intense. The fudge turned out to be the hardest shit. Who knows why? Um, but this next one, try to guess what the C is. It's a C, but it got condensation. The word is not condensation, by the way. And why is this still on? Get that shit off. Um, this one, I am making a recipe from Bob. So last night at midnight, when some guy was going to break my window in my car, we were talking, and he gave me a recipe, and I'm going to make that now. So the first thing is a German recipe, and this one is an Idahoian recipe. I don't know how you even say that. Idahoian? 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 Who knows? But that's what we're going to be rocking with. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to strain it. And just leave it in... I shouldn't leave it in the strainer. I don't know where to put it. <clears throat> I guess I can put it in the bowl. Yeah, here's the fucking... I chucked this shit because I was mad. Milk chocolate. What the fuck, man? It's supposed to be white. What if I use this thing? This thing seems pretty nice. This was like a, you know, like an instant mac and cheese or some shit. And you're supposed to like put it in this, but I didn't. It seems like a nice tray. So I'll use it for this. So I don't know if you guys can see it again, but if you can see it getting strained, that's cool. Um, so here's a pro tip for people that own houses, AKA the two uh, handsome and wealthy people in chat. We got, uh, you probably don't even know the song I'm referencing. I, I, I'm cooking it up like a professor. Don't you know, you know, I'm handsome and wealthy. Uh. So what you're supposed to do, like to not burn your sink, is you're actually supposed to have water going on the sides or like under it. Well, I mean, if you just stop throwing your money away, all the people giving you money uh, will still give you money. All the like people you're whoring out, they'll still give you money. And, <laughs> um, and if you just stop spending it, you'll be like Taylor. So what you do is you want this to like be hitting the bottom because when you put the, the stuff into the strainer, the hot water is gonna hit the bottom and it's gonna like just or it's like very minorly like erode your sink because it's just too hot. So you want the water to be there to kind of sweep it into the sink, like the bottom of the sink, into the hole. So always, you know, away, and I'm standing very far away, and voila, the oatmeal and shit is now mostly clear. Look, look at it, it's clean again almost. You see that? It's almost clean. You wait, wait for a second, because it'll still be very flumy, and then you do some of the shake. And then you see all the, the, the fucking oatmeal, oh, bro. Um, and then I'm just gonna put it in this like big, big bowl. Okay, it's got a bug in it, very cool. Uh, let's try this one. Okay, multiple bugs, very cool. There's just like dead flies that, cause I don't use these bowls. So they just sit here. 
I haven't touched those bowls, I don't know, in like half a year. I just don't mess with like a dead fly, you know? I'm not a restaurant. I don't fuck around and find out. Um, Sharon. What about this one? Oh, nice one, dude. Nice one, dude. Okay, so we'll take this little white guy and then do, do, do. Look how strong I am. Do you see this? Like, people think I'm weak. Sheesh. Okay. And then, so, so the roni is just going to sit to the side. And you're like, why did you just make that? Make fucking bland al dente roni. Why? Well, there's a reason. There is a reason. And that comes right into the Bob recipe. Is Bob still here? I know I've been taking away a lot of hours of your Pokemon day. I apologize. It was supposed to be a two hour stream. If that makes any, if that makes you feel better. Um, so we're gonna turn back here. All I know is, Chris is flaming me, but he hasn't even cooked at his house once. Not even once. Where's, where, I haven't seen a single stream. This man cooks better than me? I mean, I'm telling you, fucking 12 out of 10 right here. You should use that recipe. It's so simple, right? I mean, the timings you have to get, but if you watch the VOD, you can see the timings in place. Because um, you don't want to burn things. It's like kind of hard to burn them, but it can. And then it's just weird. Um, okay. So now, the last letter, guys. Last one. I said it messes with the macaroni. It fucks with it heavy. Wait, what do you mean no stream? What? The hello? Um, you can, it, it, feel free to inch, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Chris can't touch me because he streamed like twice in his old place with uh, the Neo girl and he hasn't streamed once since. So, and half that stream was gambling anyway, so. Uh, and then, and they, they went fucking VTuber era. Karinjga. So, the C. The last item where I'm following somewhat of a recipe, and we'll see how well I do it. And you guys... Cox... Oh, how did you know? How did you know? I've had this box for, like, five years. You read it. Oh, it says at the bottom right. Okay. Wait, you can read that? I thought it'd be way too small. See, look, revised 0516. It's been many years, apparently. It's been eight. Okay, so the C. Uh, did, I, did anybody even guess? Did, no, did anybody guess in the C's or no? What, what is good to cook in a small pot when you've never had a small pot before? I, I feel like somebody gets to see, but I don't know if I actually give you guys time. Okay, well nobody wants to guess, it is. <laughs> It is not couscous, but that's actually a really good guess. Because you would never want to make a shit ton of it. That's actually a good guess. It is chili. It's not corn. Chili is kind of a hard one, I guess, because normally you cook chili in a giant bin. But, you know, I'm just one guy. Sometimes I don't want a lot of chili. So, I never make chili because you make a shit ton. Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe this one isn't the greatest one. But Bob gave me a recipe and I'm gonna make his recipe. So number one, we need a pot. Very important. And it's supposed to be a seasoned pot. So right here, you see it? It's got some zest on it. That's good. Okay. Number two, I didn't, oh fuck. I didn't write down the instructions. Well, I did in my phone. Um, the first step is these frozen things. Now, when you guys flame me, you're flaming Bob here, so watch yourself. He is tall. So, I have everything over here. Oh no. So, apparently, the first thing I'm supposed to start with That is season. What do you mean? Bro, man, it's got some, it's got some good stuff on it. That's some good shit right there. It's got pasta. You know, so the part of it is this, this is getting put, you know, the Roni, I, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it. It's for you guys. I'll take the L here, but it's, I, it's a W Ross move. So the first ingredient is apparently frozen peppers and onions. And I open it. And I open it. And I only use half the bag. And, uh, you know, I'm going to say we're going on like a medium, a medium weather over here. Uh, on that double burner, wait. Oh, medium is down. Interesting. Um... So what are you guys feeling about these things? Are these things cool or not? Nah? I've never used this before. Do I not put water in that? The recipe didn't say water. Actually, I don't know. I don't think you ever said water. <laughs> uh, but I keep those in there and then they, they cook for a while, right? If you guys want to see again. Apparently they sell frozen Peppers and onions. I, that's a big word, and I really don't know what that sentence is saying. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what that means. Well, I mean, the fudge, the fudge is gone. The jello is now a milkshake. Um, the ramen is definitely still in there. Uh, the pudding is definitely still in there. And this isn't even cooking. I don't know why. I, what? Like, what's happening? Okay, now it's on. Um, the roni is there and that's on purpose. I don't have a clip, so I don't know. So I, I don't know how this, this recipe works. I'm very lost. Um, I, I, I don't know how, like it, it's cooking, but it's not. It's cooking dry. That seems odd. Oh, um, but what we have here Oh, I haven't been going over the ingredients for all of the meals. That was, see, I'm telling you, I had so much set up. I haven't been going over how much everything costs individually because we're supposed to rate. So this pan right here, would you say this pan, it's stainless steel, not aluminum. So that's good. They cost more though. So this pan costs $24.99. It holds two quarts. Is that, is that a good price or a bad price? Because I got it at the, um, I got it at the superstore. So I think it's going to be more expensive than if I got it at Walmart. But I'm not sure. Does anybody buy pots? The only pot I've ever bought is, a. Uh, I've only ever bought this thing and it was at an Ikea. 
And Bob was there. I'm pretty sure I bought this at Ikea. Right? I think I did. Because I'm pretty sure I bought this and a floor mat. Which I still have. Okay, um... So I guess we're saying it's a good price. I don't know what the recipe is. Oh, I don't even remember that, but it probably did happen. Because I've always had the walk, but I got that like before I went to college. So it doesn't really count as like me buying it. Because I didn't pay for it. Uh, uh, by the way, I did find Zesty. I did find this, so it took a while, but chili style. Seasoned and ready for chili. I just didn't see it, so it's there. Um, and I have a can opener. That's pretty cool. I used to use a super manual one. What the hell just happened? What? Oh, it's upside down. What the hell? Or is it? It's got two lids. I don't know, but this thing just fell. The can fell through the can opener. What? Oh. What is happening? Like, it's working, but I'm so confused. What if I go the other way? Okay, the other way is working fine. Oh. I think this can opener doesn't work, or it is upside down. I don't know. It's like, it's got a lid on both sides. I feel like this can opener doesn't work. Like, it works, and then it just stops. Why? It doesn't work. What? I guess I'll try the... Well, I can't try the other side. It'll all fall out the bottom. Okay, they're thawed. If you want to add some seasoning, you do it now. Okay, so he said to use this. And I'm only gonna use half of it because it seems like a lot for the little bit that I'm making. Uh, where'd the scissor go? So I'm gonna put in like half. Cause it's a small pot, you know, it's not very much. So I put like a 10th, I don't know. I don't know, I get very scary about these seasonings. Uh, it's hot and spicy, so it should have a lot of flavor anyway. Uh, I put that in there, add tomatoes, and let it simmer. Okay. So I'm gonna push this down instead of lifting it up, cause like, it's just not working. Okay, that doesn't work. Uh, Uh. Okay. Okay. It's working. It's not working. Uh... 
Because it's like on both sides, there was a part that wouldn't open. So it's like half open, but nothing is connected. It won't open. Okay, I bent it. I bent it back. Okay. Spatula time. It smells very spicy. I don't know if that's the tomatoes or if it's the seasoning packet. <clears throat> But I like spicy, so that's good. I tried, I tried to make it spicy. I don't know. I feel like on the small amount that I'm making, like using anywhere near, anywhere near like half of this packet would be crazy. Because unlike the ramen, this stuff is pretty bad for you, I think. I don't know. Is it bad? I've always heard that these are bad, but I don't, I don't really know. There's six servings, and each serving is 390 milligrams of sodium. What are we feeling about that? So if you use the whole pack, it's like your day. Because <clears throat> uh, six times 10, right, is 60, and seven times six is 42, so that's 102%. Do you see how I do the math? It just, it's just all in the head. Some people say I'm not very smart, but I mean, the mental mass is just like insane. In like seventh grade or something, I got second place um, for the math tournament statewide. Or maybe it's county. I don't know. But either way, I only got second to this other guy at my school who I knew was going to beat me. And it, like, it's, it's a little disheartening, you know, like when you're always second place in some sort of competition. Um, but I knew I, I, I beat everybody else, but I didn't beat him. And I, I mean, that dude, you know, like he went through IB and he was the smartest guy there. So like, you know, like I lost to the guy who's just like the smartest, like in general. So... Yeah, it's not bad, but it, like you just you just kind of take it. But yeah. So I don't know how long I'm doing this for, but uh, you know, it's similar. I think it's good. It's not like bean it up. I'll see if my can opener works here. I don't even know if you can see me opening the cans. I'm telling you, the stream is just so scoffed. Like I, I took time to make it as good as it could be. It's just, uh, you know. It can only be so good. Like I'm keeping the phone plugged in because this is a iPhone SE second edition. So, you know, it's years old. I'm not using the latest and greatest uh, like iPhone. It used to be the latest and greatest Samsung was the best, but I guess people are using iPhones again. I don't know why, but there must be something to it. <clears throat> Yeah, like this can opener, it's stuttering and shit, so it must just be broken. Okay. So, I'm gonna... I guess, because these say spicy chili sauce, I'm gonna pour out some of the sauce. I don't know. I feel like there's already enough sauce 
in the chili tomato. Yeah. I don't want it to be too saucy. But I haven't added I haven't, I haven't added ingredient to your chili. And I'll go over it in a second. I preemptively thought of that. And it's really just a personal preference thing. Okay, so let me see how much this chili costs. Because, like, the thing is, people always say that, like, cooking for yourself is cheaper, right? Than, like, if I were to go get this much chili. But I'm not sure that's totally true. So we're gonna see some math here. Like it might be, but um, so at Publix on one of these days, I actually bought some chili. Okay, so a 16 ounce can of chili at Publix, which is like a good size. It's like, it's a little bit smaller than this, okay? Um, it was $6. Wait, how many ounces is two quarts? Can anybody do that for me? I don't have a, I don't have a way to do math because this is my phone. Um, how many ounces is two quarts? So we'll just do it by that. Because this is about half a pan of chili. So this is like one quart. So how many ounces in a quart? Is it exactly 16? It might be. Because um, it's, it's four cups to a quart. 64? Wait, there's no way. There's no way this is two times the chili that I bought. One qu so two quarts is 64 ounces, really? Hmm. Because uh, I have the cup. I'll go get it. It's in the trash. I guess maybe it is double the size. Um, if you were to compare, I, I, I guess it is double. I don't really think about it. There's like, I'm doing some camera shenanigans where like it's closer but next to it. I'm trying to like take that away. It, is it really double though? It, you can't see the top because I can't tilt the pot. I don't know. It doesn't seem like that's double. Like, double of this seems like way more than that. I don't know. Um, but, I, it, I don't know, like double, all right? Like, like double, two times, uh, uh, but may, maybe it is. So we're basically saying that this costs twelve dollars, right? Because the competitor's chili is six is five ninety nine, so two times that is twelve. So, but this costs to make. Um, it cost a um, dollar seventy for the tomatoes. It cost. Six dollars for the peppers, which I only used half of, so that's three. Um, the seasoning was a dollar forty, and I basically, I guess you could reuse that. We'll say like a. I'll just cut it off. I don't know. Um, but oh, but the peppers and onions were buy one get one actually, but you can't do get that normally. Um, there's shredded cheese, which was four dollars. And I assume I'm going to use a lot of that, if I had to guess. So, <clears throat> I don't know, I feel like I'm missing something, but I'm not. So, it is six plus like a dollar, so like seven, um, 11, 12. It's like the same thing. So, you get double the amount for the same price. Wait, no, no, no. Because it's 12 against 12. 
So it costs like the same. And so the next question is, okay, why, why is everything getting stuck to the bottom of the plant? Like, I already can tell there's going to be black marks on the bottom. Why is it getting stuck? Because the stuff that's in here doesn't seem like you should get stuck. She's getting stuck. Um, no shot. You are using all four dollars of cheese. Well, I mean, Bob said to use a lot, and I even got okay. So last night, you weren't looking at my phone, but I you, you said you said I should get like Kobe B. Uh, like you were like get, get like a. You, you, you were like, get Kobe, che Kobe, Kobe Jack Cheese, right? I thought you were saying Kobe Jack Cheese. Not Kobe. So I wrote in my phone, Kobe Jack Cheese. And I'm like, what the hell is this? Because I never eat this kind of cheese. And I didn't even get that cheese. I, oh, I got, yeah, so I didn't get the Kobe Jack Cheese. Because I decided to get one that was on sale for two for eight. So it's one for four. So I actually just got Mexican cheese, which I figured would be okay because you know, like Mexican chili is a thing. So Mexican cheese, this was on sale, so. I have nothing to put this in. Okay, so. So for me, check this out. So for me, this is way too liquidy, right? It's way too liquidy, I don't like it, this liquidy. So what I'm going to do, and this is a pro move, that you guys should start like just using whenever you see it happen. Tomato paste. It, like it is thick, so it converges with sauce to make a thicker sauce. Um, this is like a, this is an actual pro move. Um, cause you don't want to, you don't want to overcook everything and you don't want to drain the liquid. You just want a thicker sauce. So you add in tomato paste and I guess when it comes this small, cause I got, I wanted to get the smallest, they don't have unsalted. So this is salted tomato paste. Um... Well, how long am I supposed to wait? How long? Can't really overcook it. Well, it's good. I mean, like, the onions have to be burning, right? Like, like this one, well, I just got it covered in sauce. Like this onion, it's got black marks on it. I don't think you can really see it, but maybe you can. And maybe that's just like to sit here like for an hour, just moving it. I use the wrong flipper. <clears throat> well, like they're getting to the bottom of the pan. Cause like they're sauce, but they're heavy. So they don't float. I don't know. I've never made chili. My mom likes to make chi uh, chicken chili where she actually pulls it apart in the slow cooker and that shit slaps. <clears throat> it's like one of the few foods that everybody likes. Um, Cause you know, somebody doesn't like some dish.
Well, like, I just... So, like, this is the reason I don't cook, like, at all. Is, like, I could have been spending all this time just playing video games. Like, I, that, that's why I don't cook. I just... I'm so bored. My, my brain is turning to mush. Because, like, I'm only doing one thing right now. Like, when I, when I don't stream and I'm sitting in my apartment, I'm playing a game, watching a stream. Like, I need, I need multiple things going on. I don't know. And, like, I'll put up, like, two streams. I'll have two streams running with both with audio. And I'll be flipping tabs and I'll just hear both audio. Sometimes I'll do three streams. With but like all three audios going. And my brain basically tracks what they're all doing at the same time as I'm just playing a game. I'm so bored. Like I'm standing here flipping chili and I'm not getting paid for it. Like this is like a person's job, you know? Like I could be going to Subway and like getting a sandwich. And it would be so fast. Yeah, like some shit's definitely like, I don't know. Something's happening. Um, so like I would say like the fudge was, was pretty fast, right? Because it's, it's the time that it would take me. On a Saturday, I don't need to leave my apartment, right? I don't have to go anywhere. So the time that it takes to go somewhere, get food, and come back, it's like impossible to beat it. Cause I go to the same, like two restaurants that are right next to me. It's just like, it's fast. Why should I not be optimizing speed? But if like, if I wanted fudge, <laughs> that fudge was fast to make. So I could make that myself if I wanted it. Um, oatmeal, like, for example, like, people make oatmeal all the time. Oatmeal is super fast to make. Everybody can make that. Macaroni is pretty fast, too. That's why, like, I don't go out to restaurants and just, like, order mac and cheese. I also don't cook mac and cheese. I get the fucking just microwave shit. And, like, boom, three minutes, you're good to go. No prep. And then I also get the, I also get this. I also buy, you know, like the frozen broccoli and that goes in for five minutes and I got broccoli mac and cheese. It like, yo, it's so fast. So it's like three minutes for the, the mac and cheese and like five for the broccoli. It's eight minutes for like a not necessarily healthy dish, but it's got a lot of broccoli. Like that is some good shit. But when it comes to chili, it's like, if I have to sit here, what's happening? And I can't watch streams on my phone because it messes with my eyes. Dude, this milk in Jello, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, no, like, I... I think total meal prep makes sense. Um, I also have like, I'm, I'm not picky with food, but like, I just don't want to eat things sometimes. So I don't like leftovers. Like I always eat leftovers, but it's just like, I'm eating it. So, so this is what happens. Okay. I never have leftovers unless I cook food. And then I just eat so much food. Because the way I am is if food is in front of me, I just eat it. So my fridge is empty because if I buy anything, I just eat it all. Like a couple days, it doesn't matter how much I bought, it's just all gone. So if I make a ton of food, I'm just going to eat a ton of food. And I don't want to eat a lot of food. So by like buying food, I like kind of portion myself out because I don't want to spend a lot if I go to like Zaxby's and 
in college, I used to always get two meals. And I would eat them. And that would just be like lunch. But nowadays, I don't want to eat two meals because... I don't think it's healthy. I don't think it's healthy to eat. Like, I'm not fat. I mean, like, this weird, like, off-camera angle where I'm, like, partially on it on, like, a on like a camera lens that, like, widens out some shit. I'm looking real big right now. But, I mean, like, you saw me last night. Like, I'm, I'm actually pretty good. You know, like, I'm a fine everything. Um, and everybody says that, like, eating a ton of food is unhealthy. Um, something is like, there's some shit definitely burning. Like, I don't know what to do about it. Um, but people are like, well, if you eat a ton of chicken, you're going to die. Or people are like, if you eat a ton of sugar, you're going to die. Or you eat a ton of bread, you're gonna die. So it's like, I just wanna eat smaller meals, even though I don't need to lose weight. I just wanna eat, like, my, I don't really, I don't really gain or lose weight in general. I just kind of am always where I have been. I mean, like, a year ago, I kinda gained a bit of weight. Uh, but that's cause I was just only playing WoW, so I wasn't even moving. If I move a very minimal amount, I'm always just staying the same weight. Like, a day-to-day -day I'll fluctuate, but I'm just basically the same weight. Um, just by, like, moving a little bit. And I don't know. So I don't need to eat to gain or lose weight. So I portion myself when I go to fast food because I can get one meal at Zaxby's and or I can get two, and I'll still be just as hungry in an hour. So it's like, why, does it even, like, why spend more money if it doesn't do anything? So yeah. I don't know, I've always had a very weird metabolism where I can just not eat for a couple days or I can eat a shit ton for a couple days and nothing really matters. It's very odd. But I think the chili is on. And I don't like want to eat things like this because the ramen, dude, I mean, I can just feel it. It's so, it's so salty. It's crazy. It's so salty. Like I try to bitter it out, but it's still there. But I'm very salt sensitive, so keep that in mind. When I grew up, my mom just like didn't use salt. So like, it's always crazy whenever I go to like, any, any fast food, um, like mildly fried chicken. If it's fried enough, I don't taste the salt. But if it's like, if, if it's like Burger King where it's like, yeah, fried, but not crispy. It's like, it's so salty. I just can't eat it. I mean, I do, but it's way too salty. <clears throat> so it's like, I have to really stop. When I buy yogurt, I buy yogurt, you know, so I can like eat one a day or something. And I have to really stop myself from just eating the whole thing. And it's like, I don't know. It's really annoying. I have to stop myself from eating because, well, I don't know. So I have to not have things, like, all of this food might be gone by Sunday. Because it's just here. And it's like, should I eat 12 of these things? Probably not. But why not? <laughs> you know? I don't know. Where does, oh, okay. No, I don't know. A couple people are still watching, so I'll keep going. Um, so the whole twist to this, holy shit. The whole twist, oh my goodness. I don't know where I put it. Anybody know where the Roni is? Oh, here it is. Oh my goodness, the whole twist. The al dente Roni. 
right? Because al dente is like it's almost done cooking, but it will finish cooking when like as it's sitting on a plate. Now, the way I al dente it is I almost finished cooking it, but when I put it in the chili, it will finish. So like it's almost perfect. It could just be a little softer. And now it'll become that perfect soft. I really think it would be better without the macaroni though, I'll be honest. I, I don't know. I, I get it. I guess I could still. I mean, if I put the cheese in, I don't know. So my problem is, I'll use this shredded cheese. It's just, I really did not expect to get this cheese. I thought I was gonna get the, uh, I thought I was going to get the, the, the liquid cheese, and I was going to dump that in this. That's what I wanted. But this cheese is going to make the crumbled cheese, and it's not going to work. So I can't use it. This is not... Like, the, the, the idea that I had in my head... Yeah, yeah, it's like Cheese Whiz. Like, Cheese Whiz on a pasta, uh, on, a, on a chili mac and cheese works. But a crumbly shit cheese does not. This bear, like this doesn't even work on its own in, in that. So I don't know. I'll just have to use the shredded cheese, but I'm a little bit unhappy with what happened. But yeah, I'm still streaming. I'm really sorry that I, 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 I started an hour early. I don't know. I just had the wrong, I had the wrong hour. The whole day, like I woke up at nine. And the whole day I was just stressing about starting the stream at two. It didn't even like occur to me that it was, I, I told everybody it was at three. I don't know. I wondered why there, there wasn't a lot of people because I told a decent amount of people. So I was like, oh, I guess nobody showed up. But then it was really my fault. Like that, that's wild. I don't know how, like I've never been, I'm really good with my times. But I don't know, this one time, I'm just fucked. I, I don't know, I feel like I ruined it for everybody. But here is... Dude, I... My wrists aren't very good, and... You know, my coordination with my right hand, which is my non-dominant hand, isn't as good. So holding out pots and things is kind of hard with my right hand. So there it is. It is the vegetarian... Gluten-free, wait, you're right. Peppers, uh, tomatoes, and uh, onions, they're gluten-free, right? Yeah. And like cheese, gluten-free? Even if it's, I really don't like these packages. I'm telling you the fucking pine shit. I don't know if this doesn't have the pine or what, but I don't know why anybody would wanna eat pine. It's probably got the pine shit. No artificial growth hormones, but it's got the pine. Uh, you know, gluten is bread, maybe. But I don't know what breaks down into gluten. There could be things other than bread. I don't know. I, hey, let me tell you this. So my brother is now married to someone who has celiacs. And, you know, when I, uh, so how, well, I'll say like two... So like six years ago, they were coming down to Fort Lauderdale where I was going to an internship. Where I was doing an internship, right? I was living in a, uh, I don't remember. It's like, it's like Oakwood Manors or something. It is known just as the area where all the gays live. And that's what everybody told me whenever I told them I was, you know, staying there for a couple months for the internship. Um, but while I was there, I took them to this restaurant. 
I took them to the great. I, I don't remember what it's, I don't remember the the real name, but it's like the Great New York uh, Waffle Sandwich Shop. I don't know. I I can't keep track of everybody and their food stuff. I just like. I didn't even think about it. I went to a fucking place where you get waffle sandwiches and they're fucking goaded. And I think she had to, like, she ate one because there's nothing else. I don't know. I'm not very good at this. At least I don't pretend to. If you're ever down there, it's a really good place. I don't know what wheat is, okay? It grows in the ground. Sure. I mean, anything can be gluten contaminated, right? The one thing I learned last night, when we were thinking about all the ideas for these recipes, they're not recipes, but what to make, all I can think of is how everything I made is some sort of fucking pasta derivative. It's like, why is that all I eat uh, every, like, moment of anything I do? Yeah, but, like, I wouldn't know what, like, what if I get, like, a... What if I order, like, a hamburger, and it's not going to say contains wheat? It's just going to say hamburger. I don't know. It might be a gluten-free bun. I could go get like a candy and it's just made at the same factory where they make bread and like why would I think a candy should have should say contains gluten? I wouldn't like I wouldn't know to look for it. I don't know, this seems really spicy. So what are you doing in Japan? Because I thought you were already there. So are you back? Is this like a round two? Because didn't you say you, you met Chris in Japan or something? I think we gotta put milk jello on the fucking newspaper. I think it's got to get out there. The camera mic is very odd. So in the beginning of the stream, <clears throat> I guess this is a spoiler, if anybody goes back to the beginning of the stream, I think you should watch at least when I started making the fudge I think that's pretty funny. But at the start of the stream, I had intro music. And for whatever reason, the music wasn't getting picked up by the phone. And I don't know why. There was something something very odd about it. Where it's it's really trying to pick up like my it picked up like everything else. Like I would clap at a lower volume than the song. And on the stream, which I was listening to, it would the clap would be louder. So I don't I don't really understand it. It was very odd.
Okay, well, <clears throat> I made everything. That chili is really spicy. I don't know if it was because I did the spicy beans or I did the spicy seasoning. I'm not sure. But I think it really has a kick. Or maybe it's just because the peppers and onions are in there and they're already spicy. Who knows? That's pretty wild. <clears throat> it tastes good though. It's just a little bit hot. Uh, so I don't want to mess around with it yet. Um, but yeah, I guess that's the, the end of the stream. I don't know. I'm just a bit tilted still. So, <clears throat> so yeah, like I'm not going to swap over to a desktop stream. I don't know what time it is. It could be like five o'clock or something. Um, but like these things came out and I don't like them. I don't, I don't understand like what's happening with these. I guess you're supposed to cook it inside of it, but I don't know. But with I, I like this powder, I don't understand. It it turns into a, a mush whenever it gets liquid. So when you bite into it, it gets on like your tongue or your lips or on your teeth, and it like condenses on into that paste on your teeth. So maybe you're like. Even the recipe said at the end you're supposed to put more on it. I don't know why you would put the powder on it. That seems like it's it's like a physically unenjoyable to eat. Like the taste might be there, but I can't get past. Like I don't know if you can see it, but there are some spots where it's like, well, that's gonna be the other side. It's like the whole thing is covered in dark green splotches. Uh, let me get one. Um, so like, I don't, I don't know if you, well, the shade isn't going to help. Um, you probably can't see, but there's like a bunch of dark green splotches all over it where like some amount of water hit it or something, or it took the water from the fudge. I don't know. It's, it's very weird. I, I'll have to like figure out how to fix it. So I can still eat this thing because you can't brush it off because it'll get stuck to you and like, I don't know. <clears throat> Everything else was good though. This was scuffed from the beginning anyway. It was supposed to be white, but it's black. So it, it's already like a loss, I guess. It's good that I could show off the ramen. I'm really proud about that. It's very simple. It's not like anything I should be proud of, but... I like how I turned ramen into something like a little bit better than how everybody just eats it normally. Um, Cause it's, it still retains the fact that it's ramen and it's chicken flavored. Like it's still there. It's not gone. It's just a little bit added more. And it's not like I added a shit ton. It's pretty normal. Um, so yeah. Um, I'll put the cheese on the chili when I'm eating it. Cause that's, I know you said that. Uh, I just wanna relax. It's only like a three hour stream, but I don't know. It's a little bit stressful when I'm shit talking myself half the time. <laughs> uh, yeah. So thanks for watching and chatting. Uh, we went through the FJRPOMC. And uh, you know, if anybody else wants to do the, the one pot challenge, I mean, it's there for you. You make up your own letters and you make whatever foods you want and you, know, you can stream it or make a video of it. And it's just kind of for fun. I'm maybe, you know, I'm the only person that's ever done it because I just made this up, but it's pretty fun. Uh, and you get to learn a lot. You know, like I've never made these things. So it's pretty, but oh, what happened to the pudding? Let me look at that. So, okay, uh, uh, it's been in, the, it's been in the fridge, and it's still like this. It do I just throw it away? I'm. Mean, I'll try it, but it's, 
<laughs> it's got a massive skin over the entire thing. It's just really, really loose. I mean, it tastes fine, I guess. It just doesn't taste... It just doesn't taste good. <laughs> like, it's not even just watered down. It just tastes bad. So this, I, I'm not going to eat it. Even though it's just water, milk, and seasoning. Right, right. It's not even seasoning, it's like, you know, some pudding powder and crap. So like, it, it shouldn't be inedible, but it's so bad that I actually just am not even gonna eat it. Um, the Jello drinking is totally fine because the Jello was made correctly. If this was made correctly, you could drink the, the pudding. The problem is I, I just messed up. So that one's a gummer. And by the way, if you're wondering, I basically drank all this. There's just a little bit left, and I don't want to drink it because it's like the bottom milk. It's like some of it's stuck to the bottom. I don't know. It's just kind of sketching me out. So I drank, I drank all the Jello or most of it. I put a lot of milk in there, so I had a good amount of calcium. Um. So yeah, I mean, thanks for thanks for watching the channel the whole time. Everybody who was doing that, because uh, you know it makes the streams more enjoyable. IRL without people talking is real brutal, uh, just in general. So it's cool that people were talking, coming in and out. That was nice. Like, if I'm playing a video game and nobody's watching, it doesn't matter. It feels like I'm playing a video game. I mean, it does matter, obviously. But it doesn't matter nearly as much as, like, I don't know, I'm cooking. It's weird. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to get off. My feet hurt because uh, I've been standing and I never stand. I'm always sitting. Um, like, my heels really hurt because that's where I... That's where I put all the pressure on my foot is my heel. That's why, like, I don't know, so the past, like, hour, I've been walking, like, pacing a lot, because it just hurts. Um, but, yeah, I mean, have a good weekend. And, you know, I stream a lot. I don't know. I won't do another cooking stream, probably. For, I mean, like, for a while, at least. Because, I mean, it costs a lot, and... <clears throat> Like, the, and ideas-wise, it's just like, you, you have to be like a real cooking streamer to cook often. I don't cook, so it's like, why would I even stream cooking? Um, but yeah, have a good weekend, and if I guess you're in Japan, have fun. Saki bomb, yo, what's up? I don't know. Um, uh, what do I say? Uh, wait, wait. I stopped learning Japanese, but... Um... um Um, I don't even know how to say it. Uh, it's not konban wa, right? I don't know. I lot. I forgot everything. I really did. Oh, it is konban wa. Yo, <laughs> whoa! I'm pretty smart. Um. I don't know. Like, once I stopped learning it, I forgot, like, everything. Because it was only a couple weeks. So it wasn't in my brain. <clears throat> All I know is when I say yo, I just go, Ajibemashite. You know. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys around. And uh, have fun. <laughs>